Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Please wait for a few minutes. We are going to start at 1.40. Again, please wait, everyone. We are going to start at 1.40. Hello, hello, my test. My test. My yeah.
All right, good afternoon, everybody. While we are waiting for our guest speakers, let us first play a game, okay? So instead of, excuse me. Okay, so I want a participant from each table present. <laughs> no worries, guys. Prizes will be provided later. Kung gusto nyo. And just to inform you guys, ang aton prizes is cash. Yes, ah. pang show man. Yung karoon pang juice. Gane. Participant. Hindi man ang participant, you guys. Mag... Easy lang ni. Okay, please wait a minute. What the participant is going to do is simply just raise a phone with its flashlight open. Okay. Okay, you you just need to raise your phone with flashlight open. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I will give you a minute to discuss amongst yourselves to choose your participant. Like, just like that. You need to raise it up high. Up high. High up, rather. Yeah, like that. Okay. Have you guys chosen your participants? Uh, Arena? Okay, so pwede, nyo, pwede ang participants erase yung inyong camera, ay inyong flashlight. Okay? How about from that table, Manang? Sino? Okay, how about from you, Nong Sean? Pili. Raise, raise it na. How about from Nong Jerome side? May participant na? Raise your flashlights, guys. Okay? Okay. So the mechanics of the game are we are going to play head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Whenever I say head, put your hands on your head, shoulders, shoulders. And when I say answer, you need to raise your flashlights. Okay? Like that. Uh huh. Uh, let's have a demonstration from Chito. <laughs> Okay, can you stand up please? Uh, hold your phone like head, shoulders, shoulders, head, answer. Like that, okay? Is it clear? Is it clear for everybody? Okay, that's great. So for our first question, mm -hmm. I'll give you 10 seconds to analyze the question first. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, participants, please stand up. <laughs> okay, let's have some fun, everybody. <laughs> Okay, ready, ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Answer! Okay. <laughs> Nong Dave. Fourth, can you explain your answer? Very good. Okay, you can leave your GCash number to our participant behind okay so for the facilitators may I please ask for your help because I only have two eyes and I can't see everyone in the room okay 
Next question. Mm -hmm. Again, 10 seconds to analyze the question. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, ready? Another round of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay, head, toes. Toes. Okay, guys, let us remind everyone that your toes are over here, not over here, okay? Head. Shoulders. Head. Oh, head here? <laughs> head. Head. Toes. Eyes. Answer. Okay. Five. Uh-huh. It takes five minutes. Uh, try again. Okay. Steal. Raise your flashlights. Steal. Who wants to steal? <laughs> Ten. Wrong. <laughs> okay. Nine. Very good. Okay. Again, leave your GCash number to the facilitator behind. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Okay, this is the last one for today. Okay, again, 10 seconds to analyze the question. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's play every our participants. Please stand up. <laughs> okay, again, shoulders. Knees, head, knees, head, knees, head, knees, head, knees, head, knees, shoulder, toes, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Answer. Okay. Answer. Wrong. <laughs> Again. Yes. Head. Uh, eight. Wrong. <laughs> Okay. Mm, not really. Okay. Another round of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Everybody stand up. Oh. Mastil? Mastil? No? Okay. But tayo flashlight, I won't acknowledge. <laughs> yes? Wrong. Okay, again. Please look at our question carefully, okay? Ah. Uh, Another 10 seconds to analyze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, another round of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, nose, mouth, ears, tongue. <laughs> head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Answer! Yes? No. Two <laughs> <laughs> balimam. <laughs> nga atu. Ah. Si mam ma mam nga atu. Hmm. Basta half two. Okay. Will we accept mam's answer? Yes. Yes. Okay. T yes. It is. Explanation is simply count the number of letters. Twice of two. Two is three letters. T-W-O. Twice that number is six. Okay. Half of four is two. Four has four letters, so that's half. Twice of eight is ten. Eight has five letters. And five, how many letters does five have? Four. Okay. Okay, so is everybody energized? No? Isapa? <laughs> Isapa? Sino gusto isapa? Bayaw tiil? Oh, bayaw kamot na lang. Sino gusto isapa? Oh, mga, oh, mga participants, get your game na game. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, we 
are going to continue our icebreaker later during the break. Okay? So you still have time. <laughs> okay, please wait for a few moments. Okay, let us acknowledge our first speaker for today, Mr. Jose Danilo Borse. May I request uh, Mr. Matthew to present our garland? Okay, let's give him a round of applause, everybody. Okay, so now let's formally begin our seminar. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculty members, and fellow Centralians, a perfect afternoon to each and every one of you. Welcome to the inaugural session of the PSSE Seminar Series event, Shaping Central, a seminar series of pioneering perspectives. Today marks the beginning of an exciting journey for all of us gathered here. This seminar series event, spanning three enlightening sessions, scheduled every two weeks, is tailored specifically for the brilliant minds of Central Philippine University. That's right. Through partnerships with esteemed organizations like the Global Shapers Iloilo and American Corner, we've curated a lineup of topics and speakers that promise to broaden your perspectives and ignite your curiosity. So, brace yourselves as we journey through these sessions filled with insightful discussions, thought-provoking ideas, and inspiring stories. Today, we set the stage for a series that aims to shape not just minds, but futures. So, without further ado, let's dive into this transformative experience. To start off, may I kindly request everyone to please rise for a moment of solemnity as we offer our hearts in prayer, led by Mr. Matthew Ledesma, the Internal Vice President of PSSE. Let us all put ourselves in the most holy presence of the Lord. You may do the sign of a cross if you, do, uh, if you would like to do so. Dear Heavenly God, we gather here today with open minds and hearts, seeking wisdom and understanding. Bless this seminar and all who participate. May the knowledge shared enlighten our paths and inspire us to grow in truth and compassion. Bless the speakers with clarity and insight as they impart their lessons. Help us, the listeners, to be present, engaged, and receptive to the teachings. Remove any barriers that may hinder our learning and allow the light of truth to illuminate our thoughts. As we depart, may the seeds planted here take root within us, sprouting into actions that create more peace, justice, and goodness in this world. We are grateful for this opportunity and for all of your blessings. Amen. Okay. Let us now proceed with the next segment of our program. To give us her warm welcome, let us call on our dearly beloved OIC of the Software Engineering Department, Engineer Romary Johanna C. Eder. Let's give her a round of applause. Okay, so... Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this three-part seminar series entitled Shaping Central. Uh, I would like to warmly welcome our distinguished uh, group of students, participants, and guest speakers who have generously agreed to share their knowledge and expertise with us, and uh, they will be properly introduced later on. So welcome to CPU. Uh, this seminar is conducted by the conducted and facilitated by the Philippine Society of Software Engineers, which is the official organization of the Software Engineering Department of CPU. And uh, this seminar series aims to provide a learning experience that will cater to that diverse range of interest among CPU students, whatever your course is. 
And for the students present here today, I hope that you will give your full attention and participate actively because we have an, an exciting lineup of topics for today. So let us all open our minds and hearts and take advantage of this opportunity to grow and learn together where you could harness new knowledge and ideas which might be useful in your future endeavors. I would like also to take this time to thank and congratulate in advance the Working Committee, the PSSE, who also partnered with the Global Shapers Iloilo uh, to make this seminar possible. So a big thank you for all the efforts and hard work you have put into this event and congratulations for the job well done. So I will not take up so much of your time because I know you are all excited and eager to know what our speakers have in store for us. So again, good afternoon and God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you for those inspiring words, Ma'am Eder. Now let's shift our focus to Sir James Daniel Gregory to introduce our partner for this event, the Global Shapers Iloilo. Please join us in extending a warm welcome to our distinguished guests. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. So I guess we still have more students there at Silicon, and hopefully that we could also settle. Ayan. So once again, uh, good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Yeah, just checking your energy, guys. I mean, um, this would be a really long talk because you'll be spending until 4 p.m., right? Ayun, so 4 p.m. And uh, we know that uh, during this time, mga launa, after lunch, we know nga tigtololo. Good man, tigtololo. Good man, we understand that. That's why, uh, hopefully, no. So even on our class, no, medyo katuloyo, good man. But uh, we hope that uh, you could really gain some of the knowledge that we have from Global Shapers Iloilo. Um, once again, I am James Daniel Gregory from Global Shapers Iloilo Hub. And uh, we are just one of the city-based hubs out of uh, 456 uh, hubs all over the world. Um, kami, no, sa Global Shapers Ilo, uh, Iloilo, um, we are, or Global Shapers Community is actually an initiative of World Economic Forum. So what we do here is that we are uh, engaging a lot of dialogues all over the world just for us to address yung local, regional, and international ng mga challenges natin. And, uh, Ma discover new man, your time passes by since given that we have uh, three, uh, two more sessions. This is the first session, and we still have uh, next next week, second session, and third session. And uh, this would be diverse topics of Iloilo Hub, wherein we will be introducing man say no, commonly nga ginobra naman. So for this uh, afternoon, we will be discussing two of our activities, and it's more on uh, first one, of course, responsible voting. So it's the project of the U Vote. If uh, some of you are familiar with this, Kaga, we are also uh, expressing our uh, gratitude to you, no? Because CPU is one of uh, of uh, uh, of the organization or institution that nagbulik samon to make this possible. Nga mingin successful ang implementation naman. U Vote is a partnership uh, naton nga initiative with. Comelec, Iloilo City, wherein uh, umpisa kita sa pag-assist sa aton ng mga uh, residents here in Iloilo City when it comes sa pag-register uh, sa ila. This time, uh, nag-upgrade kita. We are more on now on the educating ang aton ng fellow uh, Ilongos no, on the responsible voting. So we have a partner with uh, a lot of organizations, man, and a lot of universities just for us to amplify ang call naton for uh, voters' education. So we were happy about that because CPU or the Central Philippine University has been there actively participating man sa Amon and we thank you for that. And another thing is uh, sa aton yung project is uh, yung project Minimi. This is more on governance and accountability and that would be discussed later on by uh, one of our members man sa Global Shapers, uh, SB Adrian uh, Campos Sagrado and we will be discussing about more on transparency and accountability because siya man yung ma sa area nga nila, siya man siya sa government is he's been serving man no, yung community yeah, um, for uh, through the years naman. 
So this time, aside from the topics that we have too, so I'll be taking this uh, chance to introduce sa inyo na yung other projects naman. Another one is that uh, we have this Tech for All. And that's the reason why we are here. It's because Tech for All has been connected sa Atoms because the president of the uh, of this uh, organization, no? sa Philippine uh, Software Engineering Society. Tama. So yun, it's uh, Rafael. Can connect natin dere. And uh, also, yung faculty natin, one of our faculty here is uh, Miss Ariesa. So, isa na siya sa mga nagtulay or nagbili sa atun para makakadto kita dere. And also for us to amplify yung initiative natin. Tech for All is more on uh, maghata kita sang access to all sectors nga maging inclusive siya with regard to tech or technology. So we had been doing a lot of initiatives and activities more on in engaging para lang ma-shape natin yung Iloilo City. So damo kita, subong sa mga line of activities for this and uh, we are happy because involved man ka mo sina or na-involved naman 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 ka mo dira. So next thing is we have this Siencia Storia. This is more an ocean literacy principle. We are also happy because si PU is one of our uh, animators diri. Nga sila ang nagbulig man sa amon no to develop yung aton nga books no. So there are so many talents gid man diri sa si PU nga we're in nga damo gid sila na bulig sa aton no. So this one sa Ocean Literacy uh, Principle is that nga nagkato kita sa Kalagnaan Islands sa uh, sa may Concepcion Iloilo we're in yung mga i-publish naton nga book is dito naton ihatag sa mga beneficiaries naton so yung line up naton um, we partnered with um, life bank so sa life bank is that uh, damo sila branches all over the philippines kag ang himuon namo naton dira is yung mga ma-publish naton nga books is that we will be distributing that all over the philippines in all nga, nga of course ma-partner pagit kita sa department of education so ganon so that's how we do it sa sense storya next activity naton also, yung uh, Project Long T, Learn and Utilize Nature's Green Through Technology and Innovation. So what we do here is that with the setup natin there's a city, ang ginahimo natin how we can produce food. Like for example, nagbata ini nga initiative during the pandemic because limited yung access natin to healthy food. So what we do here is that we educate yung mga pilot natin, no, there is sa ilo ilo city kung how they produce the food, maskin limited yung ilang soil, nga wala sila tamnan because wala sang soil. So we introduce technology innovation through yung aton nga technology which is una is yung hydrophonics or in hindi na natin kinahanglan mag-produce ang tanom without sang soil. Pwede kita makatanom mismo sa tubig. So with the help sa partnership natin sa University of the Philippines, we can make this possible. Ayun. Another thing is we have this uh, projects, no? Sa, uh, actually, damo, kita line up activities. May another thing is that we have from e-commerce or uh, Project Henio. This is more on e-commerce. We are giving uh, lots of uh, students the opportunity to have an access naman, no? Sa uh, technical skills. Just like, for example, this would help them in their career pathways in the future. After they're graduated, we promise to have an uh, employment naman sa ila. These are just some of the activities. Another thing is, uh, we just do not limit this sa aton ng mga projects sa Iloilo ha. We love collaboration and mostly we are really proud because yung Global Shapers is let's say partner in, partner dependent and we uh, that's the reason why we make all these things possible. It's because of the collaboration of the people who have the same uh, interest, who have the same advocacy sa amon. So this time. Um, Later on, no, I realized that we're going to discuss ni Dan, no, ang aton niya, first uh, speaker for this afternoon for uh, uh, voter education. So you'd be no better kung ano pag ginagin pang ubra naton. So this time, um, uh, thank you so much for inviting Global Shapers Iloilo. And we hope that this is not yung pinakauna and pinakauli yung collaboration natin. So we still promise to have more of activities in the future and of course uh, with the new leaderships ng Global Shapers sila ilo. So I am the outgoing creator and uh, aman si Marvin, yung incoming creator natin who will uh, receive all the responsibilities na nga mapasa sa ila and of course tanan man mga partners natin, kag tanan man yung nagahulat ng mga beneficiaries natin, kag mga community nga naga, ano, nga gina -serve Naton. So this time, thank you so much, and uh, I hope that you could really gain a lot of uh, uh, knowledge sa two speakers natin this afternoon. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Sir James. 
Now, without further ado, let's delve into our first topic of the day, promising to ignite our hearts and spark meaningful discussions. Let me first introduce our speaker. He is a graduate as a class salutatorian at La Paz One Elementary School, Batch 2015, with high honors at La Paz National High School. He is currently a, an AB political science student at West Visayas State University. He was president at La Paz National High School Supreme Student Council school year 2019-2020. President at Division Federated SSG of Iloilo City, school year 2019-2020. Senior President, Iloilo City Federation of BCPC Child Representatives, 2020-2022. A shaper at Global Shapers Iloilo Hub. A counselor at WVSU University Student Council. Founder of the WVSU Drag Community. Archon at WSU University Student Alliance and a project lead at UVote. Some of his notable awards are LPNHS Model Student of the Year 2019, Iloilo City Community Service Awardee, Iloilo City Leadership Awardee, DSWD Region 6 Community Service Awardee, and 2021 Most Outstanding Ones of the Philippines National Awardee. He is here to talk or share with us against the importance of responsible voting. Let's give him a round of applause. Sound check, sound check. Ayun, good afternoon everyone. Maayong hapon. Ito ka Luya, nakita no? Liwat, maayong hapon. Sige. So, hello sa aton ng mga software engineer students. So, tanami ka mo from first year to fourth year, chak to? So, nandiyan yung mga first year. Dumay, bala, nung mga first year, kamo kayo duda mo, pa energy. Okay lang na. Second year, di in. Nan. So, do medyo low na, no? Ganun, nabuhi na, nasang first year. Um, sa third year, where are our mga junior? Nan, how about our senior? Okay, wait na. <laughs> Busy na sa thesis. Alright, sige. So, hello everyone. Once again, and thank you so much for having us, for having me. Again, I am Jose Danilo Boris in the second. You can call me Dan for short. And I am the project lead of UVOIT, one of the projects of the Global Shapers Iloilo Hub. Before I start, siguro my um, talk, no? I just want to energize everyone because I know nga, medyo tuyo kita, no? Kay hapon, subong, and all. Sige, so please, no? Where are your right hands? Please raise. Right hands. Okay. Tap, your, the, no, tap the next person on your right. Hamba lang nga. Good afternoon. Nan. Tap lang. Hindi pa lang paka. Basta malusan niya. Kasumbag. Di man. Sige. Di ini mo ka left. Left. Okay. Itap naman ang ara sa left. Hamba lang nga. Good afternoon man. Okay, so hoping no, nga, this afternoon we're going to have a good afternoon because um, we're going to share, no, I, I am going to share my learnings and my knowledge and hoping man, makalearn ma ko sa inyo. Sige, so just a run through lang or a brief introduction of UVOID. So UVOID started last 2021. So 2021, of course, pandemic kita siya to. Yes. So, it was started actually by your former CPUR president, um, Manong J. M. Suelo. Yes, so um, we uh, we led ang um, U-Vote satellite registration. So, we initiated ang um, U-Vote um, educational um, discussions on voter education. Up until now, we are still doing that. And we are so much thankful nga subong naga-extend na kita sa mga grassroots levels such as our communities and of course our universities. Yon, bunga sa may echo. Okay, sige. So this afternoon, no, um, I want this talk to not just be a one, ano lang, one sided lang. Balang nga, I'm going to talk and you're just going to listen. I want this talk to be interactive because I believe that democracy is an interactive process, no, of the people and of course of the government. And I want to reflect that tonight, this afternoon. Sige. So, 
First and foremost, when you hear the word boto, mm, what comes to your mind? Ano na? O sila, inyo boto, ang gusto nato, no? Pero boto, ano nga, ano, ano, what comes into your mind when you hear the word boto? Anyone? Anyone who can share? Like, one word lang. When, was, when you say the word boto, ano ang kasulod sa utok ninyo? Yes, sir. Election. El election. Others? Okay, sir. Freedom. Shakto. Yes, sir. Responsibility. Other more? Yes, sir. Power of a citizen. Sige, others? Sa mga sa likod da, when you hear the word vote o konboto, anong kasulod sa utok ninyo? Right. Sige, ano pa gid? Okay, so power, right, ang um, iwang responsibility. Yes, all of those are actually correct, no? Vote is your right, voting is your responsibility, and voting is part of your freedom. Okay. So, again, so next one is, um, I would like to ask no, sa inyo kung kung nga uh, kita nagaboto. Di ba ang balong kagina? Right siya. Responsibility siya. Part of the freedom siya. Masubong, nga abala nagaboto ikaw. Why do you vote? Para lang makamay day? Nga may araka sang ink sa imo ko ko? Or just because you just want to prove no nga nagboto ako din man kag bakal im boto. Ano, nagaboto ikaw para? Yes, ma'am. For a change, bongga. For a change. How about the others? We vote because Dela sa side din naton da. We vote. Why do you vote, guys? Nga nagaboto ka mo. Yes, ma'am. Better future. Okay. For a change, better future. How about the others? Okay. For a betterment of the country. Sige. So, for a change, for a better future, and for the country. Sige. So, sir, next. Alright. Sige. So, chak to, no, tanan to, gipang hambal, because we vote for a change. Because, di ba, kung mag-voto, kita, ge-elect kita sang ano, bago nga, Officials, bago nga leaders, not just in the uh, in the national level, in the local level, but of course even in your classroom level, correct? Every year naga elect kita because we want something, we want some change, we want a better man. May it be in your country, in your city, in your university, or even in your classroom. Sige, so next one. Okay, so this afternoon, no, I am going to talk about responsible voting, so part of our voter education. So I am not going to focus more on the national level because those topics, no, those subtopics are actually very technical and I know nga, ano get, mas matuyo ka mo. So I want to relate our discussion on what is happening right now in, in your university. I know nga your elections are coming, correct? Yeah, and... I also know, or kinda assume, no, nga one of the reasons, man, why you guys push through this um topic because all of you wanted to be um enlightened, man, or refreshed on the on the things or considerations nga di nato niya panumdumon when we choose a leader. So again, once again, I am done, and next. All right, so vote ko no. Ang meaning sang vote ano? It is an indication. Sign of your ano choice. Sige, so ma'am, ang um, kasi nung mukin na imo boto usually. Sino ang imo choice of leaders or choice of something? Uh, well, for me, I should vote for
Alright? Pero baka si ma'am. What's your name, ma'am? Helen Nier. So, kanami, no? Because uh, she really did her research. So, kung no, si Yaya, magbuto siya. Kung no, gina-research siya, Anay, ang kandidato. And also, assessing kung ano ang iyagin himuan, kag ano pagid ang pwede niya mahimo, no? Sa ila nga mga constituents. Other more! Paano natong ginapili ang atong tagaan sa atong boto? Sa atong nga choice? Ano? Ginaminimay ni Mota lang? Wala man. Okay. Anyone from uh, that, that group of people? Anyone? Siya? Siya ko, no? Sige, sir. Paano mo ginahatag ang iyong boto? Or anong process si Imo no, nga para matag mo ang iyong boto sa isa katawo? Okay, competence sa mga tao. Sige, so paano bigong tayo na sila competent? <laughs> okay, gina-assess ang edge. You see, no, mas pinaka nami. Alright, so, no, boto, or yung vote ko, no, muna yung formal indication of our choice. So, of course, each of us has our own preferences, man, kung paano natin i-assess ang isa katao, whether or whether we're going to give our vote for that person or not. Alright? Okay, so we vote because first and foremost, ano? It is? Our right. But before, but before, no, sa mga sinakuna pa nga mga, nga mga years, of course, ang pagbuto, privilege in eh. Not all people have the right to vote, especially women, correct? Yes. I just want to ano, uh, emphasize that because this March, we are celebrating Women's Month. And subong no kanami, because uh, women already have the right to vote. And sa una man, not all men have the right to vote as well because, of course, working men lang ang mga, ang may mga, no lang, may mga financial standing lang ang makabuto. Ang mga alipin or mga slaves, hindi man sila kabuto. But subong no, tungod sa atong konstitusyon and of course, with the progress that we have, voting becomes our right. When we say our right, ano ini? Aton left? <laughs> Alright, so, kung baka makita right, ano ina? Ano po silingon sa right? Di ba, I know something, ha? Very good. It's something we are entitled to. Can someone take it away from you? No. Sige, so, of course, what's your name, ma'am? Rain. So, can I take away, ano, take the uh, vo voting right of Rain? No, because she is entitled to that right to vote. Except, of course, when she is disqualified by the law. But, of course, that is another topic to discuss. So, but, of course, amon is some provision lang ni sa aton nga constitution, no? Just, ano lang, I just want to share it with you para man, um, ma-enlighten man ka mo. Sige, so, sa so Article 2 ko, no? Sa so Section 1 of the 1987 Constitution of our country, the Philippines is a democratic and republican state. So the end, nag-alay or nag reside ang sovereignty? So the end? Sa so government? Sa? People. When you say democracy, it's always the people. And the people are actually more powerful than the government because we elect them every now and then. So, ang muna ang uh, ganyan highlight ko, sovereignty resides in the people and all government authority emanates from them. So, we give, no, we give the government the right to, ano no, to lead us. So, we have the sovereignty. Article 5, Section 1 of the same Constitution says that suffrage may be exercised by all citizens of the Philippines not otherwise disqualified by the law. So, all, all citizens of the Philippines, hatag ka mo besang mga um, groups of people nga hindi kabilang sa all citizens, ang mga disqualified by law. If you have knowledge, or snort knowledge. Ano? Very good, minors. Okay. So, kung muna, simple lang ano eh, minor, sige. So, muna, so, diba, sa ang gamay, kita, wala pa kita kabuto, no? Nakabuto, nakamutanan. So, nabang wala kabuto, dere? 
Ha? Wala ba kabutong? SK, wala pa ba kabutong? Wala pa. Pero what, an anong age range niyo subong? 18 na. So last, sang 20, sang last year, wala ka mo kabuto? Ha? Underage pa mo sa BSK E? For actually, SK, as for SK, nakabuto na ka mo because SK, um, 15 years old to 30 years old ang makabuto for SK. So register na ka mo para makabuto na ka mo next time. Okay? Sige. But of course, I know every one of us already, ano na, nakabuto na kita sa atong classroom kaya sa atong university, correct? Correct. Sige. So, next. Nuggets. Voting is, ano ka nila what? Our right. That's why we have to vote because we should be exercising our right. Alright. Sige. So, mga makita sa fridge, ano ina? The right to vote or the exercising of that right. So, nandiri ang registered voter, subong, pero wala nakabuto sa last election. Ikaw. Why, ma'am? Why did you not vote? Why? Wala kayong baton. Nga, ah. Pero arang nga lang, mo naka-register ka. Ano, ang... Hmm, but you are late na. Ang 18 above ka na. Hmm. Sige. So, SK ka lang nakabuto. Pero sa barangay, wala. Why is that so? Okay. So, actually, kung ano, kung ano, kung uh, ano ka na, makavote ka na for both. Okay. Sige. So, sorry, hanta lang na karun. <laughs> okay. But anyway, no. So, when we say we all have suffrage, we all have the right to vote or the exercising of that right. So, of course, it is our right. We should be able to exercise it. And ang mga 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 freedom, may ala kita freedom to choose where whether we are going to vote or not. May ala nga wala gabuto because sa takan sila. May may gabuto, wala may ara mao nga wala no kabuto because of financial reason. Maybe layo ang ilang nga polling center kung sa local and national elections. Sa university, may ara ang gabuto mang kamo. So hindi nga wala kabuto or wala kagibuto or wala na ka experience nga wala nagbuto sa school level. nga election. Gavote din man ka mo, no? Okay, nga agavote ka mo. Especially in your university level. Why you, are you casting or why are you ano? Ang um, take time ka mo mag-choose, mag-ano, magbuto nga ah. Why? Again, it is your right. And you are just exercising your right. And exercising your right is the right thing to do. Gets? Okay. But then it's check, babe. I want to make 100% pa. I want to make 50%. I want to make 0% na. Go. Okay. Puno ko man. Okay. Wala ko man zero, no? Wala ko man zero. Okay. Sige. So move on kita. All right. Sige. Okay. So, di ba malagang gina, voting is our right. Voting is our right. Mga kasi nyo, is voting our power? Louder, is voting our power? Yes. Why? Nga ah. Yes. Because we are in democracy and the people have the power and the right. Nga ah. Nga ah, voting is our power. Okay, sige. So, voting, of course, is our power because through voting, we can be able to exercise our rights, ang mani, sir? And of course, through voting, we can be able to reshape our country. Ang mga nasa-tide, alam nyo din yung shaping central. Okay, so with great power comes with great responsibility. So, supong mayroon, ang mga sang right or power to vote. Ano naman ang yung responsibilidad? Kaya ang balga na ni... Spider-Man, gima na gambal na eh? Yes. With great power comes great responsibility. So kung may ang power nga magbuto, ano ang inyong responsibilidad? Ano? Vote wisely paano? Check the people nga kipadalagan. Ano pa gid? Aside from checking the people or the candidates, check their platforms. Aside from that, ano pa gid? 
Ano? Hindi magpa-bribe? Okay. Other some answers? Okay. Sige, so, yes, check to madambal nyo, no? Um, i-check ilang platform, i-check ang mga tao. And of course, protect your right to vote. That is your right and no one can take that away from you. Okay, so how and who do you vote? Paano ikaw magpili sa ginabuto kag sino ang ginapili ni mo nga butuhon? Ang guapa? Ang guapo? Kung kayo ng James, oo, oh, yeah, okay na na given na na kayo ng James. How about the others? Sino ginabuto usually ninyo? Ang kawatan? Okay. Sino? Someone who has the ano? First and foremost, the credibility. Later on, we're going to discuss the qualities that we should look sa aton yung mga kandidato. Sige, ano? Sino? Sino ang usually ginabuto ninyo? Ano ang quality? Ano ang klaseng tao? Wala. Sige, dire, 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 dire. Ano? Ano yung usually ginabuto? Ano ang klaseng tao ang ginabuto usually? Yes, sir. Wow, let's clap our hands. What's your name, sir? Matthew. So, kanami, no? Very comprehensive ang yagin share. Sige, so that's for national and local. Sir, no nga setting. How about sa university? Usually, kasi umugin na hatag ang imo nga boto. Sa inyo nga setting. Para relatable sa inyo, no? Para lapit sa inyo. There is university, I know nga, ga, ano, nag-start na inyong election season dere. So, there is a lot of people nga, of course, mga luyag sa inyo. There is a lot of people nga ma-approach sa inyo, ma-presenta ma sa inyo sa plataforma. But, sino o, usually, ang ginabuto ninyo? Amaya, ah, bala sila sa similarity in terms of characteristics. Ilang nga, uh, ilang nga, uh, pag-present sa kagalingon, platform. O kung same lang man sa ginahambal ni Sir Kagina. More on, sa pag-assess, no? Sa ilang ipang kimuan sang una, sa ilang status subong, kag sa ilang pwede pa ma-offer in the future if ever they are in the position. Correct? Correct. Sige, so, okay. So, subong, sa Kagina, di ba, ginahambal ta Kagina nga, um, More on, kung sino dapat butuhon. Supong, humangotong na naman ka mo. Sino ba? Don't vote for someone just because he or she is first and foremost, your friend. Correct? Ginabuto natong kisa, kay friend nato, ano kung kilala nato, pero balaan nato deep inside ang iyang mga, of course, iyang mga setbacks, iyang mga anik-anik, no? Okay. So, don't vote for someone just because they are The same party as us, the same color as us. No, sometimes no, we patronize people or candidates coming from, of course, may it be in the same org or in the same party as we are. But of course, we should be objective when we, I know, when we um entrust our vote. So okay, don't vote for someone just because he or she is. Popular, very good. Actually, very also nisha sa national and national and national political landscape because usually among the og ano, very good. Number one, yes. Next topic nila. Okay, okay. Wasi man dati hindi man. Okay, sige. So don't vote for someone just because he or she is. Ano? Rich, very good. Kung may kwaer tapo toho na dayon. Don't vote for someone just because siya may pinakadako nga hatag sa imo, di man. Don't vote for someone just because he or she is family. 
Okay. Don't vote for someone just because he or she is. Ano pa ged? Famous, popular. Okay. Actually, nata yun naman tanan. But anyway, um, this afternoon, I just want you to remember this. No. I want to import these five C's in voting. This is actually by Antonio J. Ledesma from Inquirer.net. So, iyan na ginanunog, iyan na share ang lima kasi nga dapat natin lantawon in choosing our leaders. May it be in our classroom, in our university, in our community, local, or even in a national setting. So, ano una nga si... Conscience. So, these are the questions nga makabulay sa inyo uh, pamangkot, no? Kung um, ang imo bala tagaan sang boto or pilion, siya tokin man. First, ang imo bala candidate, a person of moral integrity. Basi ang person nga imo botohon, may arat na sang history of corruption, of tax evasion, of of mga ano pagin mga other things, pagin nga question his or her moral integrity. Is he or she God-fearing or makajos? Especially, of course, sa inyong institution dari, of course, di ba, ano ka mo, more on, ang mungkin nga inyong nga value, ang ginaano. And pro-life, makatao, does he or she respect human dignity and human rights? Does he or she follow the rule of law? O kung basi siya man ang galabag sa iyang alayi eh. Is he or she transparent? Transparent and accountable? Or lastly, are there no charges or hints of corruption. So more on assessing no ang aton or ang iya nga moral integrity. Okay. So next one. Anong next one? Competence. So more amo to diba bagi na gina ina assess ninyo ang competence. So when say competence, ano ina? Pang conscience, moral, ang competence more on Skill, ano pa ged? Background, ang yagi ni panghimuan, iyang uh, performance in his work or her work. So what is the educational background of the candidate? How, how is his or her health? How what about record of service in government or in private life? Competence cannot be based on popularity alone or name recall, much less on fake news. So, competence is really what that person has done. Kung ano ang iya panghimuan, ano ang iya experience, o paano ang iya experience makabulig sa tao at the end of the day. The next one is compassion. So, ano yung muun mo? O ang leader may ara sang, yes, may ara siya sang moral integrity. May ara siya sang competence. Pero wala siya sang compassion. Malasakit. Or kasi compassion is malasakit. May ara ka sang care, no? May care ka sa imo nga mga constituents. So, does a candidate manifest in word and deed a concern for the poor and marginalized? Does he or she support social justice, measures for the rural poor, indigenous people, urban dwellers without housing? Does he or she work for the empowerment of the poor in contrast to giving a dole outs? Does the candidate support the peace process through peace talks and addressing the root causes of unrest? So more on a national set, yung iyang mangkotano, no? But in your university level, how does this see, no? How pa pa niyo siya mamasure ang compassion sa isa ka candidate subong ang kapatalagan sa inyong student council? Especially subong no nga very ano sa mga student council grassroots siya. Makita nyo gid no ang ang student leader nga act nga gahalubilos inyo. So, paano nyo siya makita or makita ang ilako iya nga compassion? Paano nyo ma-measure if ever nga ang iya compassion bala enough for me to entrust my vote sa iya? Anyone? Okay. Pamalandong kita. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, kaninhang, no? Sige. So, anyone who can share, no, ang iyang, uh, like, basis sa so, pag, ano, sa compassion sa isa ka candidate sa inyong, uh, sa rin council? Anyone? Yes, ma'am. You're raising your hand. Wala, man.
Alright? So, when their words align with their actions. So, when they walk the talk, and they just don't talk the talk. Okay, so thank you so much, Ma, for that. How about the others there? Anyone? Okay, so next one. Okay, five C's in voting. Anong next? It's companions. So, kung sino, no? I-assess natin man, aside sa iyang nga personal, nga, ano, nga limitations, ang isa katawo, of course, ang motoang ang competence, ang motoang compassion, ang motoang conscience. Natuwa man natin, kung usually, sino niya ang mga supporta sa mga katawo, no? Who are the supporters and advisors of the candidate? Pero of course, so balanta, kung sino ang mga external nga mga factors o kung influences ang ga-affect sa iya decision process, sa iya nga pag-build sa iya nga core and moral. Of course, how do we assess their reputation and integrity? Are they traditional politicians or engage more in transactional rather than transformational politics? So more on assessing the people around them. Kung sino mga tao yung sila ginopod nila, it's important as well, no, nga i-assess ni Man Awana nga. Aside sa personal limitations ng isa ka candidate, especially mas nami kung gina-assess naman ng mga people around them. And the last one, ano? Commitment. So, does the candidate show political will and key principles to achieve the common good? What his or her stand on key issues such as EJK and rights violation, corruption, the environment, the legacy of martial law, charter change, education, and health services, among others. So, aside sa personal nga ability, sa personal nga characteristic of that person, it is also important to question ang commitment sang tao. Yes, balaton nga nami siya. Competent siya, may malasakit siya. Pero asta san o? O, correct? Correct? Yes, of course, as the son, oh, willing ba lang nga muna nga person nga magserbi sa tao for the duration of his or her term na ginapadalaganan? Of course, that is important as well to, ano no, to consider, aside sa personal nga karakteristik, question the commitment of that person. Because after all, you guys, we the people are the ones nga nagput sa ilas ng posisyon nga dira. And we entrusted our vote. We gave them our right to vote. So that is why nga they are accountable to us. Okay, again, what are the five C's? Everyone, again, one, two, three, go. Okay, conscience, competence, commitment, companions, and compassion. Sige, so can anyone here, ano lang nga, um, in you, In your perspective, so pagpili isang isa ka leader, of course, five of these are actually very important. But if you can choose only one, nga ba mo nga pinaka importante ano ina? Okay, anyone can raise your hand. If you can magpili, yes sir. Okay, thank you so much, Matthew. So, compassion. How about the others? At the back? Kung magpili kita isa kasi, what? Ano ina? Ah, yes, yes. Conscience. Conscience. Why? Kahit doon, ang Alright. Okay, so thank you so much. So, conscience, no? Kaya ang bali, ah. And what's your name, ma'am? Love, faith. Love, faith. Faith. Faith, no? Bung na, faith. Conscience. So, connect. Okay, so, love, faith. So, yes, namin, no? Kaya for her, no? Ano niya, ang connected, yan ang iba niya mga ano, nga mga sige sa conscience. How about the people or the beautiful men there? Anyone? Nonchalant? <laughs> Kung dari mga ano no, mga OA na sila, yung mga nonchalant? <laughs> ah, yes, sir. So, for me, it's about commitment. You must, you 
can be a competent, a compassionate uh, na sa first part, but you should continue it after matapos in mood term and sa duration of term. Alright, thank you so much, sir. What's your name, sir? Uh, Rafael. Sige? So, now no, we have um, compassion, conscience, commitment. Ubus, tuntun na lang. Sino pagin maam? Balas ang ano, guys? Companions. <laughs> Oo. Kaga, ano pagin? Ano pagin? Ang uh, competence. But anyway, just joking. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so, um, you can forget everything that I said or I discussed. But I just want to ask lang sinyo nga don't forget these five C's. Conscience, competence, commitment, companions, and compassion. These five will really help you in assessing the persons you're going to trust, the persons that you're going to give your votes to, and the persons that you should ask for accountability. But, Hey guys, so um, I think um, before I end my talk, um, <laughs> before I end my talk, um, I just want to flash sa inyo ang ginhimo namun last 2022 nga national and local elections nga video. Of course, it is actually one of our um, online campaign um, in educating our voters, may it be in our local or even in national scope. So, um, I still think nga it's re still re relatable, may it be in your university level elections or even in our local elections and national elections. I think that um, talking about voter education is always relevant, whatever year it is. Next year, we're going to elect our new set of BSKE, or BSKE, um, Barangay and SK officials, and also our local um, elections as well. So uh, it is important for us to reflect on um, the points being raised on this video. Hi, Jocks. Hello. Hello. Sibilian, patutubo. Kalikasan. Ikaw. 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 Ako. Ako. Kami. Sila. Tayo. Tayo. At nang buong sambayan ng Pilipino. Responsibilidad ang kaakibat ng pagayag ng sariling opinyon. Nararapat lamang na maging ang kalayaan ay may kondisyon at pananagutan. Samahan niyo kami. Tara na! Halalan 2022. Atin ito! Ang pagkilati sa sarili ay refleksyon Masamang tao. Meron din namang simula ng gulo, maling impormasyon. 
komunikasyon ang ipinapa sa publiko. Ito pa, may nagpapahiwatig na depende sa kung sino ang may pinakamalaking bayad na kandidato. Ngayon, kung ganitong uni ng botante ang meron tayo, may pag-asa pa ba ang mamamayang Pilipino? Makabuluhan ba ang diwan ng demokrasya kung ang mga nakikinabang nito ay hindi alam na may kaakibat na responsibilidad ang pagiging malaya? Friend, kailanman ay hindi magiging tama sa pananaw ng lipunan ang paninindigan sa kasinungalingan. Kaya, be better para future mo ay brighter. ang kihirangin sa nalalapit na dalawang buwan at alamin ang kalidad ng lider na kailangan ng sambayanan. Kung ikaw ang tatakbo, ano ba dapat ang meron sa iyo na makakapagkuminsi sa tao na karapat dapat ka sa kanilang mga boto? Ano nga ba ang kahalagahan ng pagkilati sa mga kandidato? Nakasaad sa ating konstitusyon na may pananagutan ang gobyerno sa publiko kung kaya doon dapat tayo sa mapagkakatimulaan at subok na. Sino kaya? Friend, mahalaga ito lalo na sa mga suliraning kinakaharap at harapin natin. Well, ang leader mo ba ay nitega sa paghahanap ng konkretong plataforma na may maliwanag na direksyon upang matugunan na ang mga pangkasalukuyang problema na kinakaharap ng bansa? Ang leader mo ba ay walang bahid ng korupsyon? Makakaya niyo bang sagutin ang mga isyu laban sa kanya ng buong tapang at katapatan? Siya ba ay may angking galing at talino na magpapatunay na may kakayahan siya mamahala sa gobyerno? Maruno ba siyang makinig sa tao at panatag ba ang loob mong ipagkaloob sa kanya ang iyong boto? Friend, sa iyong mga kamay nakasalalay ang pinabukasan ng bansa. Kung kaya't, huwag sayangin ang iyong kapangyarihan na baguhin ang kapalaran ng ating minamahal ng Republika. Make sure para di na tayo mag-enjoy! Malaya tayo sa pagtuklas ng kamulatan, ngunit wala tayong karapatan maglathala ng salungat sa katotohanan. Ang kalayaan sa pagpapahayag ng opinyon sa publiko ay may kaakibat na pananagutan kung kaya't mainam na ito ay nasa saklaw ng katotohanan. Tama? Talamak ngayon ang pakalat-kalat ng mga pwedeng balita at tungkulin mo bilang isang social media user na mag-fact-check mula sa mga reliable sources tulad ng news portals at mga official websites. Friend, huwag tayong basta-bastang maniwala sa mga napapanood natin sa YouTube at TikTok. Maging responsable kaya dapat magsaliksik. Nararapat lang na bago ito ipost sa kanya-kanya nating mga social media accounts, mainam na alamin muna kung ito ba ay totoo o gawa-gawa lamang. Maraming biktima ng peking balita at mabigat ang epekto sa mga makakatuklas nito. Kung isa ka sa magkakalat nito, hindi ka ligtas sa kasalanan. Kung anong bigat ng impormasyon, ay siya ding bigat ng iyong pananagutan. Kung kaya't, alam mo dapat na may tungkulin kang gampanan laban sa mga makapangyarihan sa papalapit na halalan. Kailanman, iwasan maging bahagi ng kasakiman ng mga nasa kapangyarihan. Ang Pilipinas ay para sa mga Pilipino at hindi sa mga mag-impluensyang tao. Lalong hindi din sa mga aabuso nito. Isip-isip bago mag-click-click. Totoong kalagayan na
ng mamamayan ang dapat nating malaman. Dito masusubok ang kakayahan ng bihirang leader ng taong bayan. COVID-19 at iba pang suliraning pangkalusugan, gutom, kalamidad, kawalan ng trabaho, korupsyon, patayan, at iba pang kumensan hinang kahirapan. Iilan lamang ito sa mga isyong kinakaharap natin. Naaayong ba ang mga katangian at kakayahan ng iyong kandidato upang matugunan at risumbahin ang mga isyong ito? Ayon sa UNESCO, dahil sa pandemya, kalahati sa labor force ay walang trabaho. 7.6 milyong pamilya ay nakaranas ng gutom at 30% ng mga nasa sektor ng pagnenegosyo ay nalugi at napilitang magsara. Ang lungkot, di ba? Kaya nga, dapat lang na malalim ang pagkunawa ng isang leader sa mga napapanakong isyo. Dito masusubok ang kanilang galing at kamulatan sa aktual na nagaganap sa iba't ibang sektor ng lipunan. Friend, kung napag-aralan na nito ang mga problema hindi madalas makabot ng pamahalaan, kung alam na nito ang mga nangyayari sa ibaba, mas makakabuo ito ng oportunidad at programang pangkop sa lahat. Kaya, kung ayaw nating mapag-iwanan, kilatising mabuti at imbet sa halalan. Pagkakaunawaan tuwing halalan ay hindi maiiwasan sa ating bayan. Ang mas mabigat pa na tugon ay mismong kapwa natin Pilipino ang kalaban. Nararapat lang na tayo ay kuminos at maging parte ng kaayusan at katapatan kung ayaw nating magwagi ang kasinungalingan, kasamaan at katiwalian. Friend, nararapat lang na tayo ay kumilos. Makialam. Makialam dahil ikaw ay munat at may alam. Makialam. Karapatan nating singilin sila ng pananagutan dahil sa kanila natin na pinagkakatiwala ang bubis na kinokolekta mula sa taong bayan. Makialam. Dahil ikaw ay sa responsabling mamamayan. Wala naman kasi sa mga politiko ang tunay na kapangyarihan ng Republika. Ang tunay na kapangyarihan ay nasa sa iyo na siyang magluluklok sa kanila sa pwesto. Laging pakatandaan na sa iyong boto, nakasalalay ang pagbabago. Tara na! Tumoto na! Halalan 2022, atin ito! Sumusado tulo, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Rise and shine. <laughs> Charot. <laughs> Sige, so hoping, no, nga biska na close eyes kita, or put on ears, <laughs> no, we were able to at least hear the some of important points ang um, being raised sa aton video. Okay, so can anyone na lang just share ang iyang ano, nga important points nga nakuha sa video naton? Di ba may nagkata lima ka episode or lima ka, yeah, lima ka um, themes? So ano ang nagsulod gid or ang feeling mo nagresonate gid sa inyo? Anyone? Okay, IG doc sa lang guys. <laughs> okay, sige. So ano ang ano ang nagano gid sa inyo? Uh, so sa video no, um nag-discuss naton ang importance sa pag-assess sa atong kaugalingon kung ga an ano kita klase nga botante. Okay, next one is of course assessing man ang qualifications or ang um, characteristics ng aton nga candidates o kung ang ginaboto. Ang, I think for me, ang pinaka-most relatable yun know, sa inyo, especially as software engineer students, ang gin-discuss ni Ate Kers ang sa social media on how we utilize social media to, of course, to um, 
utilize it or maximize it for, of course, for campaign. And sad to say man, nga ginag-utilize man isang, of course, ang, ang mga other politicians to um, pagpalapta sa mga hindi amo nga mga balita. Of course, ano niya siya, ang um, very rampant niya siya sa natabo ng national and local elections. And hoping nga uh, as um, software engineer students, you can be able man nga um, maganda ba lang mag-think man sa possible ways on how we can be able to combat this um, rising problem, especially during elections. Next one is of course, ang ability of the candidates to address pre pressing, pressing issues. And lastly, Ang importance man nga magrespeto sa isa kag isa um despite of our differences. Um it was actually very ano gin no very um evident that last national and local elections very ano get may ara gid group of people nga very aggressive towards the others and um the, there was shaming, happening and stuff like that. And actually, ang ginapromote sa ngamon nga educational video is to implement these five um, points aton nga um, in our daily lives, especially during elections, on how we practice our right to vote. Okay? Sige. Okay? Okay, gida. Okay, sige. So, hoping nga may naisidihan or may, um, you were able to learn something. Dan Boris. <laughs> You will learn something um, from my talk. So, guess okay naman ang slide. Okay, but I'm just going to na lang, share my experience. Uh, of course, I am also just like you, a student, but at the same time, advocating for voter education and voter empowerment. So, um, I started working in you vote, working, volunteering in you vote. Oh, bragan you vote. Volunteering um, sa you vote, no, um, since its inception last 2021. I was senior high school then. Uh, and um, from then on, naga, ano, again, naga closely ang um, engaged ko sa UVO, especially that I was a humanities and social sciences student, and right now doing up political science. This one is very close to me. Uh, of course, this is um, our lesson and um, my field as well. So, from 2021, from pre-pandemic, more on Zoom, more on webinars, ang among activities, among nga ang among nga ano, output, no, videos, maximizing social media on how we can be able to educate voters and to reach out ang mga youth especially nga first time magbuto for national elections. And 2022 came, that was 2021, actually, hindi kitwagin na, no, again, uh, magpuspon, and 2022 da yun. Okay. So, 2022, we're able to register more for the um, BSKE, focusing on satellite registration, and still, um, nag-partner kami gyapon sa mga eskwilahan, nga, um, we can doc, um, we can docted orientations, voter empowerment education programs, and of course, um, last year, 2023, nag-change kami sa amon nga framework on how we can be able to implement our project. So, um, from the Zoom, from the Google Meet, from um, nagkato kami sa skulahan, subong nagkato kami sa mga barangay dire sa city of Iloilo. So, naglibot kami, starting from La Paz, city proper, Haro, Mandoriao, Arevalo, Molo, and ano ba isa? Lapus. Oh, so loko. Lapus. So, ginlibot na ito ang tanan ng mga distrito here in the city of Iloilo so that we can be able to reach the grassroots level because we thought, no, we really believe nga most of the students man sa itong education have, or educational institution have the access already in this information. Pero ang mga wala gawa access are those in the community. So that's why we were able nga mag-conduct sa Kamusina nga project. And uh, we're happy to say nga um, with our project, um, damo-damo na kami linibo ang aton nga mga beneficiaries, especially on our satellite re registration in partnership with Comelec, sa aton nga mga educational um, campaigns, damo, mga linibo man ang aton nga mga beneficiaries. So what I want to impart here is for you guys also to take part in our advocacy in voter empowerment. May it be um, in conducting educational campaigns such as this one or even utilizing your skills and um, your field in software engineering no? Nga, um, utilize the platform that we are given or we are, um, we are good at 
to contribute in our advocacy and voter empowerment. This is not just actually for um, people nga may interest sa politics, people nga may interest in the governance or government, but it is, it should be an interest of all. Because we are all affected, no? Kitatanan, may makuha nga effect from this. Agreement? Okay. Sige? So, I think that um, na-share ko naman tana, no, sa inyo and hoping nga uh, through my discussion, um, I was able to um, at least nag-impart man sa mga um, important points sa inyo. Just like what I said earlier, you can forget everything but only remember the five Cs. Again, without the projector, anong five Cs na ton? Conscience. Competence. Commitment, compassion, companions. Ayon. Okay, <laughs> okay na lima na. Okay, so hoping na uh, instill na to na kamusin ng mga sis and choosing our next um, set of leaders. May it be in our classroom, in our council, in our university, in our barangay, in the national level, or anywhere. Because we believe nga uh, we deserve a good governance. Agree? Agree. So I think right now uh, I'm going to open the floor, no, uh, for some questions, um, some concerns, or um, regarding our discussion or on our voter education. See, so anyone from the body can ask, and I will do my best to answer. Ah, salang kamot, guys. Kaya ako malakat para sa inyo. Wow. Effort. Nasa plus five. <laughs> Any questions? Hello, hello. Ana, hola. Any questions, guys, from this section? Next section, third, fourth, fifth. Sa likod, sa mga gapa nago. Oh, ay? Ah, nagawa na kalsa? Yes, study. Wait lang tayo. Lakton ko para si mo Ted. Wow. Hello, uh, my name is Teddy, and my question is, even uh, after all of this, and uh, you're still unsure on who to vote, like, then how do you, you know, vote? If you're still unsure, even after all those five C's and stuff. All right, so thank you so much, um, Teddy, for bringing that up. And actually, um, there are still people, man, nga, um, with those frameworks or with those guides nga ginapresent sa ato, na may alagin yung tao, no? nga um, still unsure um, nga kung sino siya po ang butuhon. But just like what I said in the first part of my, of my discussion, it really depends on your preference. Go back to your core. Go back to the future that you want. Go back to what the kind of leader that you want to lead you. Because of course, I believe no, nga your choice in leader speaks of yourself. It is a reflection of who you are. Your choice, your preference, will always be a reflection of who you are. So, after all of the five C's, after all of the guides, nga gintudlo man sa ito, no, whether diri or sa gwa, and still, you're still unsure, go back to your person and to your core and ask yourself, sin o sa mga leader ang gaspeak sa ako nga voice. And after that, I hope that you can be able to choose who is who and to get on your vote. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Did I answer your question? Okay, thank you so much. Mic test. Okay, guys. Anyone? My question, pa? Question. Five. Final answer. Clear na. Clear Question. Sorry, sorry. 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 Okay, um, anyone? No? Isa pa? Isa pa? Uh, nga yung question. Okay. Hello? 
Okay, so gusto yung idea nga ipre. Okay, since no more questions na, thank you good sa pagpamati. Okay, pa kamo guys? My next section pa, relax na kamo na eh. Okay, thank you kita sir. Okay. Again, thank you so much everyone for listening. I hope nga may sitihan man kamo, kag may na learn and hoping good. Ah, amo gyud nga mon gyud nga sa amon nga mga advocacy drives nga hoping that your learnings will not just be caged here in the four corners of our venue, but hoping uh, you can be able to use that in your daily lives and, of course, influence the people around you no, to also think the same for us to create and shape not just Central, but our country. Thank you so much, everyone. This has been Dan Morrissey. Madabo, ganyan salamat. All right. Okay, hello, hello, hello. All right. Thank you for your enlightening words and for educating us about our rights and responsibilities as a voter, as well as sharing with us the importance of the five C's, Sir Danilo. May the wisdom you've shared together with your bright personality leave a lasting impression on our hearts and minds, guiding us on our paths long after today, especially during the upcoming elections. All right. So before we continue to our break, may I request uh, Cheska, uh, Francesca Jewel Polhanan, and uh, Rafael Prudente, Sir James, and Mam Chi to award the token and certificate to Sir Jose Danilo Borse II. Again, may I request Francesca, Raf, Mam Chi, and Sir James. Okay. The certificate reads, Certificate of Appreciation is given to Jose Danilo Borse II for your valued contribution as a speaker in Shaping Central, a seminar series of pioneer perspective given this 26th day of March in the year of our Lord 2024 at Central Philippine University. Thank you, sir. Okay, smile. Thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. Okay. Okay, Babatanan. Okay, Pa. Hip hop. Hip hop. Very good. Okay. So, second round sang aton nga game. Sino ready? Okay. Just like before. I request a participant from each table. Again, same rules apply. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Ra answer, raise your phones with the flashlight on. Okay? Okay, again, guys, samtang nga uh, arrange pang aton nga uh, PowerPoint. Ops, taguan na yung masyarang answer. Joke lang. <laughs> okay. So, pili na kamo sa inyo representative, guys. Pati nga po ko sa couch, hindi ka mo exempted. Dapat mapili. Gid ka mo. <laughs> okay. Ready na? Is everybody ready? Yes! Okay, participants, please stand up. I wait answers na how? <laughs> ah. Ready, ready? Yes. Oh, stand up, stand up. Wow, consistent participant. Let's give a round of applause to Chito Miguel for us. Ay, Sir Dan, ikaw pagit ko na, sir, kay the only 
Tumaan ka sa table mo. <laughs> okay. So, I briefly explain ko again ang mechanics. Head, kamot sa head, shoulders, kamot sa shoulders, knees, and toes. When I say answer, raise your phones with the flashlight on to answer the question. I will give you 10 seconds to analyze the question before I start the countdown. Okay? Of course, my prize, leave your GCash number to the beautiful girl sa likod, Miss Jessica Jewel Polhanan. Okay, GCash, guys, ha? GCash. Wala ka may ginabal na amount, pero GCash. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready, ready? Okay, first question. Okay? Eh, tapos na, ne? Next. Okay, 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 okay. A farmer has 17 sheep. All but nine die. How many are left? 10 second countdown starts now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He okay, ready na? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Ready? Go. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes. Knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears. Answer! Okay, yes? Wala, wala, hindi counted, wala, flashlight. Yes, sir? Nine. Explain your answer. Okay, very good. Leave your GCash number to the beautiful fellow behind you. Okay, next. There you go. Next question, 10 seconds countdown. How many birthdays does the average man has? Okay, ready? Countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, ready to play? Okay, head, 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 toes, head, 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 head knees. Head, 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 head. Toes answer. Ay, tungan. Tungan, tungan. Okay, lewat. Toes, 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 toes. Anong toes yun, dere? Okay, toes, toes, head. <laughs> toes, shoulders. Knees. Knees, toes, knees, toes, knees, toes. Answer. Okay, nong Dave. Very good. Oh, I don't want to cash. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay, medyo malaba-laba. Ne, hinayon ko lang countdown. Miss Hitomi, our MDC, uh, MDC winner, can you count down for us, please? Okay. Count down. Uh. Okay, so for our next question, what common chemical compound is represented by the letters H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O? The countdown starts now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I know, yes. Huh? Okay. Those. Head, head, toes, toes, knees, head, shoulders, eyes, nose, eyes, eyes, nose, nose, eyes, answer. Oi, they are on the book and the alzana. Sino? No, 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 Knees, head, eyes, head, eyes, head, eyes. Okay, eyes, dere. Head, eyes, head, eyes, head, eyes. Answer. Sino? Okay. What's the answer? H2O. Okay, very good. Okay. May isa pa? Oh, wait lang, common na 
nih. Me next pa? Oke. Oke. Again, 10 seconds. A man looks at a boat full of people but there's not a single person on board. How is this possible? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oke. Wala pa ako ganito. Head shoulders ang mga cellphone. Nara, nasa liog mo. Oke. Head. Toes. 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 Gabi, toes nyo toes. 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 Head. Toes. 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 Head. Toes. Head. Shoulders. Answer. Ay, tuhan. Grabe ba? Oke, si Chito. Answer. Tanahin my partner. Is that correct? Okay, chak to. Married or in rela in a relationship? Oh, sino na in a relationship? Oh, sa kamot! In a relationship, wala agad? Single, yung tanan? No gun ba? Next. Okay, tapos na. Ah, tapos na? Oh. Oh, tapos na. Okay. Again, energetic na tanan. Ang mga participants na balasan man ka mo. Okay. 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 So, sa mga nagdaog, please get, please get? Wow. Please give your GCash number to... Miss Polhanan, please stand up. Okay. Ikaw mga, sa mga nagdaog, hatag niyang Gcash number niyo sa ila. Okay, so hopefully everyone, nag-enjoy ka mo. Let's take a five-minute break to recharge and connect with one another. We'll reconvene shortly after the five-minute break. So you can go out and maybe drink or your waters. But see you after five minutes, everyone. Okay, for everyone present here who wants to purchase uh, the PSSE stickers, please approach Manang Diadem with a laptop over there for the stickers. Wow, mega pictorial na. Nga la ko ga. Ano sila da kay? Okay. Okay, so to everyone present here, if you still don't have the PSSE sticker, you may claim a free one to, from Mam Pia. Free one PSSE sticker.
Okay, guys, you still have two more minutes. Good afternoon again. <laughs> Good afternoon again, everyone. Please settle down. Again, please settle down. Return to your seats. Okay. Okay, before we can formally continue uh, the second half of our program, let us recognize our second speaker for today, Honorable Adrian. Oh. Honorable Adrian Cam Campo Sagrado. Okay. May I request? Okay. Can I? Okay, so welcome back everyone. We hope you had a rejuvenating break and are ready for more engaging discussions. It's time to dive back into our seminar series with renewed energy and enthusiasm. So without further ado, let's continue our exploration of pioneering perspectives. Now, shifting gears, we're excited to call on Ma'am Chilo P. Batoong, a registered librarian in American Corner, Iloilo, a librarian, coordinator, KDC, and UNFAO in charge, to introduce our partners from the American Corner who will share valuable insights with us. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. So again, good afternoon to everyone. We at the American Corner Iloilo uh, would like to express our gratitude to the Philippine Society of Software Engineers, seminar event series organizers and the team. Thank you so much for uh, making us also one of your partners as a venue for this seminar. So, as of the American Corner Iloilo, we are a dynamic educational and cultural hub that uh, can be partnered during programmings and events here in the university as well as we partners with outside organizations. 
sa community. We are one of the 16 American Corners all over the country and only one here in Panay Island. And we are privileged that we are standing strong until this day because we had uh, ano na, nag-celebrate na sang 40 years of existence there is a uh, Central Philippine University. So, established as a part of a global network of American spaces, supported by the United States Embassy, American Corner Iloilo serves as a bridge between the United States and the local community, fostering cultural understanding, promoting English language learning, and providing access to valuable educational resources. So furthermore, the American Corner Iloilo serves as a valuable resource center providing access to a diverse collections of books, online resources, materials, and a wide range of topics, including American history, politics, society, technology, and more. With the facilities and an on-hand uh, staff, or a staff on hand to assist patrons, AC Iloilo is a hub of intellectual curiosity and expl exploration. Empowering individuals to expand their horizon and pursue lifelong learning. Beyond this physical space, American Corner Iloilo actively engages with the community through uh, outreach initiatives. We partner and collaborate with different organizations outside the university as well as the local organizations. AC Iloilo extends its reach beyond its walls, making a positive impact on the lives of individuals and communities throughout Iloilo City and beyond. And we are hoping to really, uh, you as a student here at Central, would maximize the resources available here in the American Corner because honestly, uh, wala man siya sa ibang nga schools, diri sa Iloilo. And we are very lucky and we are very privileged to have partner with the U.S. Embassy. So I hope you are all an asset and you are all a candidate for partnerships and collaborations and we hope to see more of our partnerships in the future. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you so much. Once again, let's give them a round of applause. And now, without further delay, let's dive into our second captivating topic of discussion. Our second speaker for today is Honorable Adrian Santuyo, Santuyo Campo Sagrado. Sir Adrian graduated Bachelor of Arts in Communication and Media Studies from the University of the Philippines, Visayas, in 2020. In June of 2023, he finished his Master's in Public Governance at West Visayas State University. Currently, he is a first-year Juris Doctor student at the College of Law of West Visayas State University. In 2018, he founded an organization named the Strong Heroes. The organization led the war against single-use plastics drinking straws in Iloilo. Today, the organization lives to lead the campaign of hashtag choosing reusables to promote sustainability. The Strong Heroes was awarded as one of the national awardees of the 10 Accomplished Youth Organizations Awards 2021 by Tayo Foundations, Coca-Cola Foundation, and San Miguel Corporation. At the age of 19, he was recognized as the youngest recipient of the most outstanding alumnus award of his alma mater, Tigbawan National High School. In 2019, he was selected as one of the delegates to the 21st Ayala Young Leaders Congress. In the same year, he was selected as one of the representatives of Western Visayas to the 12th National Youth Parliament held in Davao City. In 2020, he was awarded as the National Youth Environmental Icon of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, EMB. In 2021, he was recognized as the most outstanding student leader in the Philippines by Yes Pinoy Foundation and JCI Manila. Currently, he is the number one Sangguniang Bayan member in the municipality of Tigbawan and the youngest Sangguniang Bayan member elected at large in the 1st Congressional District of Iloilo during the May 2022 local elections. Again, he is none other than Honorable Adrian Santoyo Campo Sagrado here to impart to us the knowledge of good governance. Let's give him a round of applause.
Alright. Hello. Bukta pa kamo. Kaya pa man. <laughs> ano ano na tunaan niyo kay Dan? <laughs> Mera na damo man. Of course to uh, before I uh, I continue no I would like to thank no the people sa so, pag, uh, pag uh, invite sa amon to be with you with, to be with uh, all of you this afternoon. Once again, I am Adrian Campos Sagrado, a Sangguna Bayan member. Bala nyo sa Sangguna Bayan, familiar ka mo? No. Ano? Ah, uh, ha? Huh? May mga SK nga rin eh. May mga SK from you. Sino mga SK? Ay, ikaw. <laughs> ikaw lang isa gali. <laughs> Wala na? Sino mga may plano mag-work sa government? Wala man. Actually, ano gito obra sa software engineer? Ha? <laughs> ah? Ano mga ano mga ginatunaan niyo sa software engineering? <laughs> Sige. So actually while I was crafting or making my PowerPoint presentation, I was really asking it gene eh, kung ano ang perspective because the topic nga ginhatag sa akin is transparency and accountability. And sa akin perspective kasi from the government, ang una ho, ang umauna ko gidyo nga panumdom is transparency and the accountability in a perspective man of course of a public official right pero amo na gina pamangkot ko sila kun ano ang purpose sa aton program today because if it's more of um capacitating you as members of your organization basically syempre hindi ko siya pag ibutang sa istorya nga sa as a public official no so uh, my discussion this afternoon will basically malibot siya no as sa inyo sa as an organization and as members of the organization and as uh, persons <laughs> no as in the, as private individuals so may mga may malabay-labay lang sa discussions on the transparency and accountability on the part of our public officials of uh, of the government but uh, majority of the conversation will diragid ya malibot sa perspective of a private individual a member of an organization so good afternoon Nakapanyaga ka mo? Busog? Ay, hindi ka. Hindi ka idea. <laughs> basi, basi may ara, paya ka ron sa hapon, no? Um, sige, ikaw yung makoton ko. Oh. Kung may emoji nga maka-describe sa ginabatsyag mo subong, ano na siya? Ipakita mo sa ila. Kung paano. Sige, dito ka matu. Ano yung mga lan? Ha? Telani. Telani? Di na galing ang telani. Nga man telani. Gusto rin yaya ginawa, no? Nga man telani. Ano, nga man? The ride from my parents. Ano nga lang sa iyo, parents? Ha? Marcel Cagdani. Marcel Cagdani. Telani. Ah. Okay. <laughs> sige. Sige, kumo ka may mga may emoji nga maka-describe sa imo gina-feel sa buong ano. Oh, first emoji. Ba, sila, be. Paano? Paano ipakita nit? Oh. Be, liwat be. Ako na pinaka Pero hindi ka mauian. <laughs> sige, thank you very much. Wala pa kana tanan ni si Telan. All right. Sige, so once again, Ang akon topic is transparency and accountability. And once again, I am Adrian Campos Sagrado. Accountability is, ano para sa accountability? Ha? Paano sa inyo own nga uh, pag-understand pa lang what's the first thing that comes into your mind when we speak about accountability? Because I think, no, actually, ang accountability kay transparency These are topics, ngido, balaan ta naman ko na muna siya, no? We are already knowledgeable, we are already aware of what these words are about, ano na siya dapat, no? Pero subong gro nga po, daw mas at least make mas klaro, kag mas may ara ta sang perspective, ngido, the same tatanan. Para muna pas mas ma-explain naton nga definition of accountability and transparency. But before again I proceed, ano ang accountability para sa inyo, be? Isa lang aton mic. Or may alata, extra. Ah, makadabot sa piyak na building. 
Uh, pangita ay accountability. Ara na. Sige. Ara na. Sige. Ano accountability? Ano what's your name? Kenneth. For me, accountability po is being responsible for your words and actions. Alright, no? Correct! Gagli ka mo? Sige pala pakata mo, sige kaya kailangan na uto na palakpak mo. <laughs> sige. Basically, accountability is being responsible of your works and actions. No? So, muna man lang. Accountability is personal. No? Uh, wala mo siya... Wala siya ginahatag. Wala siya... hindi mo siya kapangitaon sa ibang nga tao. No? For example, ikaw ang nag-ubra sa PowerPoint, ikaw ang nag-storya, hindi, ang accountability sa imo, hindi mo siya madetouch sa imo. Kung ikaw ang naghambal, ikaw ang nag-ubra sa isang kabagay, basically, imo na siya accountability, personal mo na siya. Hindi na siya nga pangitaon mo kay Dan o kung kay sa ibang nga mga tao, pata kung sinagtudlo sa imo. No? Kung ano yung imo nga ginaubra, gagawa sa imo, you are accountable no? sa imo actions. And, supposedly, accountability, no? Supposedly, it should be clear. Claro in a sense that there are obvious lines of responsibility that exists. Clear ang imong role, your responsibilities, and lines of authority. Meaning, clear ang boundaries mo kung diin ka lang asta, paano mo siya ubrahon, uh, diin siya dangat, ano ang ubrahon mo. No? Dapat klaro siya. Dapat uh, maintindihan mo siya, wala ka sang doubt. No? Wala lang siya pagamba, si mo maubra ka sang line. Dapat klaro kung ano nga line ang ubrahon mo. Okay, for example, ang ina-expect gali ang line is, ano mga line, ano mga line line, yung klase sang linya? The broken line gali yung ina-expect, no? Pero ginahambasi mo lang, maubra ka line. So kung ginaubra mo yung abi is medyo gatiko-tiko lang, gasulog-sulog po, ang accountability sa pag-ubra sa gasugpon-sugpon ng linya is imo na. Hindi na siya sang nag-instruct sa imo. So dapat, once before you do something, It should be clear, no? Kung ano ang kailangan mo ubrahon para ang kay ang gagwa, again, ang gagaproduce mo is already within your responsibility. So, when is there accountability? San o natin mahambal nga may accountability na? It is clear, we can say that there is accountability when it is clear who is responsible for making decisions or taking actions. For example, may problema na, no? May isa ka, may program ka mo, may event. Ano mga events ang software engineering? Ha? Hackathon. For example, may, may isa na ka-assignment, no? Maka-demand lang kita sa accountability or we can say that uh, present accountability kung klaro man kung sino ang assign sa muna ang obra. Kay kon for example, wala ka mo na meeting meeting tapos buwas sa uh, event nyo na. Basically, tapos mamala ka mo, Dapat ano ta, dapat flexible ta. Kung ano lang dang ulo, anong ulo dapat abtik lang ta. No, so kung muna yung mga setup, meaning there is no accountability there because there are no assignments, there are no role, rules nga naklaro kung kailangan ubrahon sa members. So kung magpabaya man yung imo, yung upod, hindi mo siya masukot. Hindi mo siya ma, ma, mapangitaan sa iyang output because there are no clear nga mga ulo brahon. There is also accountability when it is clear who is responsible to who and for what. For example, ikaw balaan mga member ka sa organization. May officers man ang organization naton, no? Of course. So of course, may there is accountability if may committee, may committee members, may committee leaders, no? Sino ang in charge sa mga members mo na magkasikaso sa technicals? Sino ang mga Sino ang kailangan nga responsible sa mga members kung managtag sa invitations? Of course, ang committee head, no? So klaro siya kung sino ang ang bahala, sino ang maasikaso, sino ma-ensure that the members are also doing their part. Dapat klaro na siya from so, the planning start pa lang. And there are clear processes for making sure that responsibilities are taken seriously. Responsibilities individual, not shared or duplicated. No, mga committees na to, syempre dapat klaro man. Then again, there are uh, clear lines no, of our responsibilities and authorities. So dapat kung ano ang assignment sa isang ka committee, wala siya ga-overlap sa isa. Kay karon kung may fault, hindi man klaro kung sino siya pangitaon. Making sure that each individual is supported to act independently and responsibility. Kung lang na siya na to, sa government actually. 
familiar ka mo sa government system na ton, sa mga branches of government na ton? Ano mga branches of government kabalaan na ton? Yes, there are three branches of government and they are the legislative, the executive, and the judiciary. Kami sa amon sa government, no? Kami asang gunian, feel nyo din kami na belong uh, nga branch of the government. Ay mga sangguna ba? Ang ah, sangguna ba members, yung mga taga city. Yung mga taga city din sino? Or mga taga DN ka mo gid, usually. Taga city. Kaya kung sa city daan, although the technical term is sangguna pang lungsod, pero we commonly call them councillors. No sa amon ya sa mga banobano -ban, wala gid kami gawag ga ga gatawag nga councilor no SB sang kanang bayan no sang gid ang panglungsod so ang SB SP councilors na bilang kami sa legislative branch of the government so wala kami ya sa executive nga part pila na ganida sa mga sa pandemic pila edad niyo college na kamo to Nadumduman nyo sa kauna, kasi ah, ay, ay wala man ko intention to ano, I just would like to make a uh, uh, scenario nga mas klaro bala sa boundaries nga kinamay naton. Nadumduman nyo sa kauna, sa kinbakla ni Iloilo City Government, sang pick-ups ang tanan niya councillor sa Iloilo City. Dabatian nyo to? Ah, wala. Dabatian mo? Oo. Because ang, ang, uh, ang justification is that Uh, para ko no, sa service delivery sa mga councilor sa Iloilo City. That's why every office gindaklan sila sa salakyan. Pero, again, no, accountability, dapat may klaro siya being assignment. Ang role ni sa councilor is leg legislative. Magambat ang legislative, ang ginacreate lang namo niya is resolution and ordinansa. Wala kami sa execution, implementation, sa laws na ton. So, ang pag Pagbakal mo sa salakyan, how does it affect your role sa pagsulat mo sa ordinansa? Amo na siya, nga naging issue siya sa una. Kay, wala ka, wala na, hindi na clear ang boundaries. Wala na, wala na clear kung ano diindang at anong function sa mga muna. So, tapos organization naton para maka, hindi tama malamagasto sa mga resources naton Dapat balaan naton kung sino do may ma matching type, di ba? Alin sa una, ga-practice ga sa matching types. Before ito maghatag sa isang kabagay, sa isang katao, so dapat magamit yaman. No? For example, ang doktor, atagan mo siya sa mga bagay, hindi yung makinanglanon sa sa iyang obra or sa inyo. Anong kailangan nyo dapat? Laptop. Laptop. Pero ginggaan, kuya ka mo be typewriter. Magamit nyo? Kay gusto ko lang siya magbaka, kay feeling ko maka-improve siya sa uh, delivery ninyo, sa inyong output, di ba? So, Amo mo na, sa mga sa organizations na to, dapat we should identify no, the roles and responsibilities of each other so that we can be able to provide the assistance that we need, man, that the, the committee needs, the person need, the members need, no, para maka-deliver siya sa output because, again, that person is already accountable for whatever output that he will produce. So, dapat that person should be equipped, man, as well, of the resources that he needs para nami, man, ang output niya, ma? Uh, produce niya. So, the principles of accountability, number one, responsibility and authority is predetermined and clear. Again, liwat-liwat. Dapat klaro siya, kag again, sa planning stage pa lang, naintindihan nyo na, na-determine nyo na kung anong ulubrahon niya. Imagine nyo lang ang presidente, no? Ang president sa organization, for example, kung hindi clear sa iyang, iyang function, tapos may ginapang ubra siya nga external lang, for example, gusto yan ni President, yan mga community outreach ka mo. Kamuya gali sa members, gusto nyo yung capacity building sa members ang matabo. If wala siya na-arrange with the, the, the officers, nga muna yan galang gusto sa organization. And then, ang, ang President, lain naman ang iyang gusto, hindi mo siya masukot sa accountability niya sa members because again, it was not predetermined. You did not agree upon kung ano yung mga program na kailangan ni Obrahon. Kung kayo posipos lang kamo no? Gusto mo yagali ma-training, tas nga muna eh. Ah, gusto mo yagali ma-training kabi sa mga, sa mga software. Oh, software. Sa mga kailangan niya mga sa software engineering. Pero ang iya, yung gin, gin organize nga program is lain, no? Siyempre, hindi mo, hindi mo siya masumbatan na lain-lain niyo program na ginano because the role was not clear. No? So, there, you cannot demand for accountability. 
For example, ang tao, siya yagin pa sukot mo sa kwarta, hindi mo siya treasurer. At the end of the day, paano mo siya masukot, niya accountable siya sa kwarta. Because hindi yun assignment. Okay? So dapat it should be predetermined. The authority and responsibility is predetermined and klaro. No? The lines get. There should be lines. Guidance and support is provided. Because again, kung pabayaan nyo lang isa katawo, tapos ginambalaan nyo lang siya nga, muna dapat ubrahon, tao, wala mo na ginassist, wala mo na ginatagan kung ano kailangan niya. No? First year, or bago siya, bago siya sa organization nyo, hindi bagay siya muna ka-invested sa organization, ginatagan mo siya sa assignment without guidance, no without instructions. Tiyo, ano lang yung iya gusto mo, bro? Tiyo mo na lang. Tiyo, basically, ang output niya, hindi siya mag, hindi siya, hindi niya maigo ang goal ni organization. No? So, unfair man. Unfair man sa tao. Nga ginasign, well, gin, ginatagan siya work without proper guidance, without proper instructions, and then ma-demand ka lang niya sa accountability. It would be unfair. No, it would be unfair for the person. The way that the responsibility and authority is exercised or performed is monitored and assessed. Because of course, it comes with guidance and uh, instructions man, that you have to guide the, the person that you actually gin, ginasainan sa munang olobrahon. Actions can be taken for positive and negative behavior. Basically, pwede, pwede mo siya ma-interpret, no? Uh, so, kung feeling mo yalaw ay ang iya nga obra, syempre, it's uh, makademand ka pa sa accountability no two sides of accountability no when we talk about accountability it doesn't only speak of of uh, kung ano lang yan sa organization ang gusto ipagwa ni organization but it also talks about the internal and external ng accountability magamit natin nga, ex, nga internal basically within your organization no how you handle the organization inside That the roles and responsibilities of, of course, the officers of the members are clear and defined, supported, support is provided, everyone knows who they are responsible to, kung kaya sino sila dapat ma-report, kaya sino sila ma-update. The, the system is clear of how good or bad the performance should be rewarded and addressed. No? Dapat klaro man, basically, the, the, the management of the organization. While... External refers to the accountability sa iba naman. Your communities, kaginakantuan nyo, kaginabuligan ninyo, no, the members and other stakeholders perceive the organization with confidence because of the internal stability. External concerns can be raised and clearly addressed. For example, kami, yung external partners nyo, balaan namun, kung kay sino kami ma-report sa mga kailangan natin kayuhon, sa mga kailangan natin i-improve, kay balaan ninyo sa internal pa lang kung sino ang mga kailangan palapitan sa inyo external partners kung ang concerns nila is training, kung ang concerns nila is finance, if ang concern nila is auditing, if concerns nila is your partnership. So balaan man naman outside, no? from, from uh, the outsider's perspective, kung sino na siya, kay the external management pa lang, the accountability sa, sa internal is klaro man. And, what's your address? And it is easy to find out about the organization's processes for doing this. So, how do we do it? No, how do we do it? First, we identify the person. No, we identify the person, and then secondly, we clearly assign the task. Again, we do not just assign the task, but we clearly assign the task because it should be clear. Tapos klaro kita. Amo lang kita na. And then thirdly, how or by what means should they complete it? No, dapat na klaro man sa ginasaynan mo kung ano makalangan niya ubrahon para makomplete. Again, going back to the example, kagina bala, ginasaynan ka mo ubra line. If ang instruction ang is mo ubra line, ang ginubra mo yah is broken lines, for example. Pero ang ginexpect galay from you is a straight line. No, so kung hindi siya klaro sa una, wala mo na clearly asain ang task. And then, wala mo na-explain kung ano, kagkung paano siya ubrahon ang line. You cannot demand for accountability. Pero ang bawa mo lang siya mo-ubra sa line. No? So, kung broken line siya ginubra, ti iya na na. No? Ang maging hatag mo na sa iya eh. So, they can be as big or as small as what the organization requires. So, this can be codes sa organizations natin. This can be codes of conduct, annual reviews, performance assi uh, assessments, written rules, systems, policies, process, organization structures, etc. And you have that man in your organization. May araw makamu konsti and bylaws. Nan, your constant bylaws. It's the system, no? 
Amo na siya, tira na siya nakabutang kung ano kailangan o brown ni members, ano kailangan mga responsibilities ni president, ni vice, sa mga officers naton. So these are, the, your constant bylaws set the lines no, between the members, between your responsibilities, organizations. So, question. Are non-government organizations bound to comply with the rules on accountability? Yes or no? So why is it a challenge for non-government? Ano, why do you think would be, uh, would it be a challenge for non-government organizations? See, o una ho, una ho, kanay questions. Why is the accountability important for government organizations? Ngaman feel, is it important in the government to be for us to become accountable? Why? Why do you think? Huh? Say, so, do we handle the country? What else? Naman importante sa government na ito nga accountable. Nga may accountability sa government. Kung feel nyo kailangan sa accountability. Okay lang ako hindi nyo kayo pagpangitaan sa accountability sa government. Charot. Kailangan gudi. Sige. Ano sir, for transparency. Um, at, yeah, for transparency, either sa funds or sa uh, for kung paano nila gin, gin gamit ang budget and ang mga mga manang stuff. So why is it important? Nga babalaan mo? Nga klaro sa inyo kung ano ang accountability ni government? Because? Kay, kay gin saligan ka mo ka tao. Yes. Kung dapat ubrawan yung inyong uh, Yes, because the the things that we do in the government is a mandate by the people. So we are accountable because ang funds yung nagamit namon yung is government funds, public funds. Kwarta ninyo na siya, kwarta naton, higabayat mga kami, no? Basically amo na siya because we are in a public institution, so we have to be accountable to the people. No, we are we sh we should be accountable, no? Tungod hindi lakan pindi kapag gusto sa obra naton namon. So, going back, kung muna yung government, ang rason nga mga kailangan ni government maging accountable, why is it also important for non-government organizations to be, to practice accountability, to uphold accountability? Why do you think? Ano nga man nga man kailangan nga ngayon balaan nyo nga man kailangan sa non organized non government organizations nga balaan nyo man kun ang role nyo kung ano ang uh, inyo nga responsibilities why do you think or why should you no why should you be accountable sa inyo actions or wala lang hindi lang accountable <laughs> Nga man, nga man kailangan, nga, nga man feel nyo accountable dapat ang non-government organizations as well. Or unahon ko, why is it a challenge, no? Challenge nyo sa non-government organizations because, number one, wala man tayo sa check and balance sa non-government organizations. No? Wala iya sa law nga ma-require si mo nga kailangan mo ni Ubrahon. Wala kaya sa public, ano eh, wala kaya public responsibility. No? Kung hindi ka mo ya mag-work or kung hindi ka mo ya mag-conduct outreach program, wala man sa amon. Hindi maka mo naman ma ano, ma-demand to do it, to do something like that because again, you're a private organization, no? So but why is it important for why should non-government organizations organizations comply with the rules of accountability? Yes. Sige, singgit mo na lang. Dako ka na man ah. Yes, thank you very much. Malapakan siya na to, no? Yes. Because even if non-government organization kita, no? We still affect how people function. We still, 
we are still inside this circle, this community, na may function, kamo nga, although private, but would affect a community, a group of people. So, kung pabayan, for example, nag-alala, nag-alala mo tayo ka mo din, no? Nag-alala mo tayo ka mo. So, sino ang in-charge sa kwarta sa inyong organization? Trash, sino ter-share nyo din? May ter-share ka mo? Ah, wala din siya. No? Tapos, gin, gin, gin gasto yan lang yung kwarta. Baka siya, no? Baka siya sa lakyan. Oh, pili ka baka sa lakyan, yun yung fund. <laughs> no? Nagbaka siya sa lakyan, para lang, para lang sa iya. ba? Diba? How, how would it affect the greater community outside? Go muna. Ha. Yes, the image of the organization. Na maapektuhan man sa Japan. And then later on, kung mga program, na kamo, ayaw muna siyang muna ng ilang organization nga wala sila accountability, sila members. Nagbakal sa lakyan, iya nga, ano, yung bakal sa lakyan, siya to share. So it would still affect, and it will affect the relationship of your organization to the bigger community man Japan, no? And then, ano gita eh? Meaning, maging example na siya of, ay, pwede gali matabu si sa organization. Ubrahon man sa ibang organization. So, muna. So, hindi siya pwede, no? Nga wala accountability, even if you think that you are private. No? Even if you are functioning lang ya sa dirila sa school, no? That may accountability man Japan. Okay? Okay? So, proceed ta, no? So, next. Transparency. What is transparency naman? Sa inyo lang understanding. Hindi mo ako magambang sa la, yun yung pag-insindi. Transparent. Ano ang transparent tau? Ano ang transparent? Ma? Ano mga pinaka-examples ang transparent? Window. No? Makita mo. Basically, maka- makita mo ang sulod. <laughs> diba? Makita mo ang sa other side. Transparent. So transparency relates to honesty and openness. It aims to prevent corruption and perception of corrupt behavior and refers to information related to decision making and use of resources. So honesty and openness, no? Syempre kon kon open ang organization, no? Ma mabudlayan ka mag uh, ano ginaavoid daton sa transparency. It's corrupt behaviors, no? When we talk about corruption, it does not only happen in government, it also happens even in private organizations, even in your private lives. Okay? So transparency is being clear about what your, your, what your purpose are, your aims, your activities, the structure of the organization. Being open about who your loyalties are to. No, for example, in your ya, kasi no ang inyong loyalty ya. <laughs> sa sa iya, kay baby <laughs> of course kung church kung member ka sang church sang religious organization of course no ang mula sa uh, ang imo loyalty sa organization and then kung muna ay imo nga loyalty you should declare the conflict of interest there should be a declaration of a conflict of interest kung feeling mo ya ang imo sudlan nga nga responsibility no makun ma Later, I explain kung ano may conflict of interest. Okay? So, muna siya. Basta, transparency is, gina-declare mo kung may kailangan nga uh, conflict of interest, klaro yung purpose, and making information publicly available as a routine, and not only when it is requested. Okay? So, muna siya. Basically, sa ito niya... Kaya diba... Saan si Duterte? Diba si Duterte plan na ilad nyo? Nakavote na kamo to? Oh. Oh, uh, oh, muna. One of the first or first again, you know, nga EO ni Duterte was the FOI, the Freedom of Information. That's why my website kita for FOI, although it wasn't a law, pero may executive order, no, si si Duterte for the Freedom of Information. Oh, muna. Hindi lang siya law, hindi lang siya Republic Act, meaning wala lang sa penalty. It doesn't apply to everyone, but it only applies. Kung magamba ka ng executive order, masibatian yung mga, mga, mga executive order, republic acts. Ang republic acts, layigay siya na ito, no? nga ginobras ang Congress. Si executive order, it only affects those in the executive branch of the government. Meaning sa mga opisina lang na in charge sa pag-implement, no? sa mga function-function. So, ano ako na example? Ah, <laughs> sa FOI, 
No, may 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 website as ang FOI, no? Subong kung gusto niyo makita. Pero kung makita niyo siya, puro man lang gina decline, man lang a request. Because ano siya, wala siya, wala siya penalty, hindi siya required nga mag-share kasi ng information, no? So ang gusto natong tanin nga transparency is even if it is not requested, it is available, no? Ang mga siyang gusto tanin nato. That's why nga, until now, even if may FOI na gani nga no, nga EO That's why there are still organizations who campaign nga kailangan may FOI gita ya ng Republic Act, no? Sa amun sa Tigbawa, nagpasara kami ordinansa ng mga, mga mga freedom of information. Muna, uh, very important gid ni, no? Kay ma ang premier gilang ginasumba, ti available man, request lang bala. No, it is not the transparency that you are fighting for. Ang ato niya gusto, bisan hindi na pagpangayoon, hindi mo kailangan mabalaan nga nangayo ko nang nag, 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 ginlantaw ko na siya, no? iibutang na da. Sa amun sa government mo na ayamon nga perspective. Kailangan, bisan wala mo siya ginapangayo, kay, kay everything that we do there is public. No? Everything that we do there is is paid by the public, is paid by public funds. So dapat, open man siya sa public. All the information, no? the process of infer, of uh, decision making, you know, information, none. Muna dapat ang uh, transparency ang ginamay natin. And then being committed to accuracy and integrity. Wala naman na natin. Okay? So, let's go to corruption. What is corruption? Kag, paano siya? Gaka-commit. Corruption is, again, is not only present in the government, but it also happens, wisan sa balay nyo lang. No? Abusing your possession of power for private gain. Ara, bagay ba lang mga kapila-pila? Tapos mo salot salot lang? Kaya mga daw tikal-tikal ba lang? Oh, charot lang. Gupangakik. No? Sa dalan, no kung namin na mo sa lakyan feeling mo ikaw ang tagiyas ang dalan, no? There is also already corruption there. Misusing resources including financial resources, hiding the way that decisions are made. These are corruptions. Basically, you are guga, you're using your position, your your personality to to gain something, no? In uh, in a form na sang bagay, sang balaklon, or kon uh, mga intangible nga mga things no if ginagamit mo ang imo possession if ginagamit mo imo personality to gain something that hindi siya yatan ni imo na ang ano no ang intention or amo hindi siya tani dapat ang treatment towards you there is already corruption there so imagine no lang sa sa balay ta pala kay naging normal na siya that's why nga uh, hapos na lang sa iban no especially the big ones no to do it even uh, No, without, no, they can run away with accountability. So, magamal naman ng conflict of interest, kina mention kagina, no, sa transparency, that you have to declare conflict of interest. When you use a specific personal opportunity to achieve something that it is not intended, that, that it does not intend to achieve, like for example, uh, sagad ka sa, sa isipay kwarta, feeling mo, uh, damo, or amo na, sagad ka sa isipay kwarta, Sito sa God ka mag-manipulate sa records. So, mamu, ako matasurer. Ako ma ako matago sa kwarta. Ako ma-record sa mga gakasulod niya kwarta sa organization. And then, syempre, kung ikaw ya, sa government, muna pa gano'n. No? Deferred is kaya ay uh, wala mo ako sa may ginapaiguan. Gano, pero, kamo na, no? Again, even it's not in the government. Pero wala mga... Politicians, for example, leaders, mga contractors, they also gasulod man sila sa government para makakontract pag it sila. There is, there is conflict of interest there. Dapat supposedly, that's why there is a law actually na kung, di in, kung elected officer ka, kung elected official ka, sa isa ka locality, sa isa ka LGU, hindi ka pwede mang-contract sa projects nga dira man sa imo nga LGU. Okay, there is conflict of interest. Like for example, ginamin ko, may hardware ka, may negosyo ka, Ano mga negosyo dito sa sa mga lugar-lugar nyo? Yung mga dalag ko? Quarry. Ang quarry, abi, it's provincial eh. Kaga, kung, kung, oh sige, kung, kung quarry, di mo ginagamit ang quarry. Nga mga, nga mga, ano tawag? Ang lupa, di ba mo na? Bato, no? Quarry. Kung tagiya ka sa quarryhan, syempre, di ba ginagamit na siya magpatindog sa mga karsada, sa mga building, no? mga bato, lupa. Kung tagiya ka, hindi ka pwede makapadalagan sa kundiin ang quarryhan mo. Kay, 
Siyempre, ah, uh, possibly yun, talaga ng <laughs> example. Ga, balik ya ka supplies, school supplies. Imo negosyo school supplies. Tapos, dire ka sa CPU. Oy, sige, or sa organization, yun na lang, no? Kailangan sa ano? Kailangan sa uh, school supplies. Kailangan na lang sa mga notebook, sa mga ballpen. Nagam, baka dito ka na lang sa amon. Baka laki para makabarato ka mo. There is conflict of interest there. No? Actually, kung SK ka, kung may changi ka sa inyong uh, barangay, nagpadala nga ka SK, hindi pwede nga sa SK, ang, kung may program sa SK, hindi na mabakal sa inyong changi. Bawal na siya. Because there is conflict of interest. No? Kung wala mo siya gin-declare, yung hindi ka transparent. No? Kag kung gin, gin pa tayo, ano man siya gyapon, yan, nga dira ka mo mabakal, kimi negosyo ka mo, dira na lang tayo para lapit, no? para may istorya na ito ng tagiya. No? Accountability mo naman na siya, sa labton mo siya, sa gobyerno. Okay? So, bisan di na siya, dira, gidya. No? So, kailangan ma-practice na ito, basta may conflict of interest, kaya hindi na siya dapat beneficial. No, hindi na siya dapat, hindi siya maka, it imposes more of a uh, uh, nga damage sa organization, sa reputation of the organization. I-declare mo na nga dami conflict of interest and then avoid that. No, so, involves deception and dishonesty, basically, kung wala mo siya gina-declare, kag kung ginapadayan naman siya gyapon, even if may balaan mo may conflict of interest, pero wala mo siya gina-declare, no, of course, it's deception and dishonesty. It involves multiple relationships or loyalties, no? Ikaw diya, ga, kung anong ginastoryahan sa software engineering ng organization, isugid, no? Pagi sa ibang mong organization, kiba si mau para maunahan ka, sang ibang, maunahan ni, sang ibang organization, si Muninga organization, using professional activities for personal gain. Muna. What are some common ways to become transparent? Kabalaan ninyo. May mga nabalaan ka po? Paano, paano kita nagiging transparent? For example, na posting of liquidations. Actually, alin sa una, alin sa college, kung muna, mga kapadalagan, yung mga, mga, mga position, yung kapadalagan niya, sa treasure, finance committee, tapos ang plan of activities always, no? Yung posting of liquidations online. No? Ano pa, Ged? Budget allocation, ano pa, Ged? Kung may kwarta si organization, uh, regarding sa kwarta, bika doon muna ipibigin awayan sa organization, no? Ano ang mga ways para maging transparent si organization when it comes to kwarta? Amo na, no? Financial report, resibo, ano pa, Ged? Ano pa, Ged? Ano pa, Ged? Sa kwarta, paano kita maging transparent? Kontrata, dapat? Dapat both parties, no? In government, actually, we go beyond just the liquidation and beyond posting of financial reports. In government, we practice the people participation no, in decision-making for transparency. Meaning, for example, ang annual budget ni LGU, supposedly, kapatawag na sila sa Municipal Development Council meeting para ang organizations present in that locality Uh, business establishments, tanan-tanan nga tao, open na siya. Kaya dapat, ginapagwa ni LGU kung diin nila gusto gamiton ang kwarta. Hindi lang siya nga the traditional way of transparency, no? Nga ginapagwa ng transparency is that kung nagasto mo ng kwarta para maging transparent ka, ipagwaon mo lang kung paano mo siya ginagasto. Gin-report mo lang. Pero today, no? Our practice is that before mo gasusun si kwarta, i-open mo na sa tao kung okay sa ila. Kaya kung hindi okay, islan mo na siya. Kung hindi nila gusto. No? Dapat before mo pagwao ng kwarta, balanan nila nga ay amunigali ang paggamitan sa kwarta naman. Okay? So, why is transparency important? Basically, of course, it shows our communities, members, and stakeholders that we behave ethically. It builds confidence in us. No? Set standards for other organizations. And remember that with transparency, perception is just as important as reality. Meaning, no? Meaning, it's not only nga ginaubra nyo siya, pero dapat the organization is perceived to be transparent. Meaning, magamba ka nga perceived, ano? Panulok. Sa panulok pa lang na kailangan transparent ka na. No? So, it is just as important as the reality. 
Amo sa wala pa sa mga example ka sa government mo no? because we we are in I am in the government sector. Hindi lang na siya kasumbatan mo lang yang tao nga gapangurap ka, nga ginagasto nila ang kwarta sa wala pulos, no? Because in transparency, perception is just as important as reality. Bala na da sila ya kung hindi mo na sila masumbatan kung ang perception nila si mo is corrupt ka. Ginampangan mo ang kwarta, wala mo ginagamit sin sakto ang kwarta. Because again, dapat di makita nila kag ang perception nila si mo, hindi ka corrupt. So imo sa imo ang challenge to prove to them nga sala ang ila panulok, nga dapat muni ang ila panulok si mo, no? So muna very challenge sa government. Kung may plano pag ikaw magsulod sa government sa Dason, brace yourselves. Kus kun anong problema mo sa sa university, no? It's bigger than that. Especially kun sa gov- so, sa politika kapag ginagsulod, no? So, this time, no, actually medyo palapit naman ako sa katapusan sa akong yes, slides. Open up, discuss, and improve. Let's try to, I just would like to remind everyone that this is a safe space and this is just for um, for my discussion only, the purpose of this, no? And that there is, kung ano mamabatian ko sa inyo, I have nothing against the organization and your members. There is no prejudice. I just want you two guys to to share and to open up No, some things that you think are not desirable. Nga mga practice natin in the organization, if you have some. If wala man lang yati, we have no problem with that. No? So, if you have, you if you can see, no, corrupt, secretive, and evasive behaviors in the organization, and some examples of how these behaviors might be resolved by more transparent behavior, if you guys have, if you guys want to share and open up. Yes. Yes. The confidential funds. <laughs> ano sabi? Legal siya nga item. Pero sa, sa government, be, mag-uubratas ang budget. Ang muna ganyan eh. Diba, uh, may MOOEs, may mga ginagasta Santa, pero it's a valid item, may confidential, because wala niyang purpose ni confidential funds. It's for national security. Supposedly, si confidential funds ay ginagamit siya sa movements ni military para mabalaan ang mga kundiin, kundiin may insurgency, kundiin may mga NPA. No? Uh, supposedly, it's for Something like that. Nga, hindi bala, hindi, for example, ma'am, basic government nga, malusob kami sa muna yung area. Tigas to san, dapat ma-prepare ma, ma ta, magasto, kata ma-prepare kita, kay may mga illegal, may mga uh, against the government activities within this area. For example, ga, ga ilistorihan na, hindi sila, nga ma, nga ma, nga ipabalis ka doon nilang government. No? Tela ng balon alangan kay for for the sake of transparency alam ma announce si government mabakal kami sa muni nga mga equipment para mabalaan naton no ang gakalatabo sa muna nga area hindi man siya pide no pero man siya mga abuse lang siya in a sense that hindi mo siya kala pag liquidate it doesn't uh, you do not do the same uh, liquidation the same with other nga nga disbursement sa kwarta ni government no pero it's It's valid because it's one of the um, per, uh, responsibilities ni President, no, as the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Kailangan siya. Galing mo na eh, gakasubrahan sila. Galing mo na because there is no accountability, no. Pero mo na, supposedly sa transparency sa confidential funds, at least we know dapat nga amuning amount is intended for confidential funds. Muna lang siya tanida pa. Muna, dira lang tas, tas, sa muna eh, sa confidential funds. So, muna. Na, ba, may na-get sa man. Because, ah, muna, confidential funds is for for national security. Siya yung purpose dapat. Hindi siya pang... Ah, mo siyang problem na ito. Naging butang siya sa education. Sa Department of Education. Na supposedly wala to siya. Dapat. Kaya wala siya yung purpose. Wala, hindi yung mandate ni Department of Education. Nagmuna. 
no nga nga may mga on on that no bisan ano pa na nila ka justify we have government man nga agencies yung nga in charge for that and then ang problema pag ito actually ang problema pag ito yas sa pag transfer sa kwarta because you cannot just transfer from one office to another no for example sa ako sa ako no pisina example lang nga vice president ko yung butang ko lang dabi mga programs ni ano ni vice president Uh, ano ba? Mga free nga salakyan, free computer, free ano pag nga free free pagkaon. Oh, example exam, example lang niha. Example lang. Example muna lang ang tatlo nga ginbutangan ko sa annual budget o kon sa aton nga General Appropriations Act GAA. Kay ang ang government gipasaran sila layi bante sa mga disbursement. So tatlo lang ka item. Kun wala na da ang pang-apat nga confidential funds. Bisan subrato yung confidential funds ni President, hindi mo na pwede masailuhan ng isang kaopisina nga wala siya nakaspecify nga may item siya for confidential funds. Kuha. Para ma-explain ko mo siya nyo, amor sa issue because during, siyempre, ang ginbusla ni Sarah Duterte, okay lang man yung mag-discuss sa mga muni, di ba? Okay lang man. Ay, nakalive kita gila. Sige. So, we, we have a uh, May iba na lang tanga. <laughs> Pero wala man, hindi man. I mean, it's it's a, a, an issue nga kailangan tama bala ano. This this in, uh, involves on government. Muna. Uh, for example, basta gets nyo, kung, kung wala siya sa line item, yung activity sa, sa line, sa activity, sa na, na nabutang da, hindi mo siya pwede masailuhan. Bisan sobra pa siya sa piyak nga opisina. Kung sobra siya sa, sa president's nga budget, mabalik lang siya at the end of the year sa general fund. No? Hindi siya yung pwede nga isay luhon, butangan tang iba ng opisina nga muni kay may muna gali, kay, kay kulang sila gali sa muna ang item. Hindi. But that's why ang muna siyang issue. That's why muna siya nga gina, gin challenge to siya, ang constitutionality niya. Kaya wala, siya, wala na siya nag, uh, nag-abide by the rules, especially sa pag-transfer, sang, sang, pag, paggamit na ito, sa kwarta. Kaya wala siya sa GAA na ito, o kung sa General Appropriations Act, naging pasarman sa government na ito. Okay? Sige, next. Question. Nagmahal na ba kayo? Nagmahal na ba mga taga-CPU? Ah? Nagmahal ang... <laughs> Next question. Nasaktan ka na ba? Sino ang mas mas kakasakitan ng mga taga superior kamo ang kapanakit? Ha? Ha? Ah, mga software. Ah, mga taga software, ano mas ginasakit ako ng kapanakit? <laughs> <laughs> Sige. So next, no? Natural man in any organization, in any relationship, no? May masakitan, gidya. No? Bisan, may mga hindi mo pa na siya hungod, makasakit ka gidya kisa, no? Hindi siya intentional, pero masakitan ka lang, gid. So how do we actually improve? Or how do we actually, um, paano naton, paano naton ma- maging okay kung nasakitan ka na? Or para hindi ka masakitan, anong kailangan natin ginaubra? Ha? No? A better communication too. Yeah. No? The same with sa organization. Para wala na sang ta, wala ka mo sang member, no? Nga hindi siya mayo maging accountable sa iyo ubra. Para wala ka mo sang member, nga kailangan pasukton, nga mo niyang output dapat. Wala sang member nga masakitan pa, kagindudahan siya, nga hindi siya transparent, nga may mga corrupt behavior siya, nga ginaubra. The way to improve that or to better the situation is also to have a better communication. Again, a better communication, it should, again, diotli wat kagina, the transaction should be clear. The instruction should be clear. No? Okay? So, feeling ko lapit na laman. In the government, it's very important for us to be transparent and accountable because no, it will promote pe- citizen participation. And of course, the lack of transparency and accountability leads to corruption. So we have really to practice in the government these things. So now what? Awareness is one thing. 
but action is another. No? Balaan natin si accountability, balaan taman ang meaning sa transparency, we are aware of how they actually come, or paano siya ginaobra, but without action, it's still useless. It will all remain as theories, no? as bagay nga ginadiscuss, tatong liwat-liwat na lang, pero wala mo siya pang improve So, us, no, in the municipality, it's our pride, no, in the municipality that we actually created a mechanism for people participation, no, kami sa Tigbawan, I don't know if other municipalities have this already in the province and in the city, but the municipality already has our own people's council, we institutionalize the People's Council in which it mandates or it provides an opportunity for sectoral representatives to become members of the different task forces, committees, council boards of the, of the local government no, so that they can be able to um, represent the People's Council, may observe, vote, and participate in the deliberation, conceptualization, implementation, and evaluation of projects activities and programs of the local government, propose legislations and participate and vote in the committee level of the Sangonian Bayan. No, so, amuna siya, we, we tried to, to step up the game. Nga, hindi lang siya kung saan o lang gusto sa executive branch to do that, to become transparent and to, to involve the public in the deliberation, in the planning stage. But we made sure in the Sangonian that we have an ordinance or a law, an equivalent to a law that will require and mandate the government to do this. To do to practice transparency from the parts of deliberation, palang. Okay, so if my gusto man kamong or brown or e propose in your government, we can all do this. I would also like to share with you the lobbying process that we had because before I ran for public office, I was also with an NGO with a non government organization. Nga amon your purpose is to promote no, and to lobby environmental go uh, pro policies no, sa government. So, more sangin na namon. So I would also like to encourage everyone no, to maximize the use of social media, to call for accountability and transparency in the government. Because kung nakaya ni President Duterte i-maximize ang social media to win the 2016 elections, no, the 2016 elections is what we call the social media elections because it was the first time that a candidate, no, a presidential candidate, maximized the use of social media in his campaign. No, so if President Duterte was able to win the elections through social media in 2016, no, I believe there are greater things that would happen sa aton mga advocacies if we also um, manage naton si social media and makontrol naton si social media, mapenetrate naton si social media with our advocacies for a more transparent and a more accountable government. So there's no little contribution. Every, even just a step brings us to greater height. No, so I hope that um, kamo, even in your little ways, little your own little ways, no, you will be encouraged no, to to join us in this call for a better and a more people-oriented government. So again, that's transparency and accountability. I am Aiden Campos Sagrado again. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for opening our minds. With minds enriched and questions pondered, it's time once again to open the floor for your inquiries and insights. Okay, open forum, guys. Who would like to ask the first question? Yes? Any questions, guys? Mm, okay. Ah, sige, tunog, ano lang? Ayan na. 
Hello. Okay. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Rain. And mamakot na ko tani, sir. Is it still counted as conflict of interest if ang um, services nagin acquire ang ginbayad is ang correct amount man? Uh, for example, ang bala to kagina sa imo to nga. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, ang conflict of interest again, no? If uh, sa negosyo, uh, it, it happens kaya sa mga uh, business, for example, no? Kung ginagamit mo ang imong uh, existence sa isang organization for the benefit of your business, for profit, no? To gain profit, it's conflict of interest. Even if sakto ang kwarta, even if, amo na, even if wala pa sang napagwa ng kwarta, if gina gin penetrate mo ang isa ka system for your profit it's there is conflict of interest and it should be avoided you should have avoided it from the very first place yes, sir. yes. Um, what if your business is wrong business is sir is um, sa family mo ka or sa relative kon ang legal ang gamito na to na nga no of the conflict of interest, sa SK reform do ba wala gid siya gyapon syempre ang business ala sujanti ka pala uh, base sa iba no pero commonly wala man student ka may business nga iya no uh, usually uh, sa parents kay mga negosyo bisan pa sa parents mga negosyo mo kay kay syempre ka mo gyapon mabenefit kay mo gyapon balon charot <laughs> di ba <laughs> kumag dako ang negosyo pero muna okay lang kon ano guro kon sa iba nga organization na pero kon sa sa organ- Do we have any more questions? Mayra, one more question. <laughs> Hello. So, for the conflict of interest. Hello. Um, what if ang mga politicians nga gagamit los ang loopholes hindi na makonsider for their own benefit hindi na makonsider nga conflict of interest kag wala na hindi may magamit against sa ila Ano nga loopholes? Hindi ko pa mention Basta magambar sabi nga conflict of interest basta may personal gain ka nga mabenefit no? nga Kasi syempre, the purpose basically is public. So, kung hindi mo yan ginauna is your private, there is conflict of interest. Bisa nga ni, percep, per, perceive pa lang uh, conflict of interest na pag ginaano siya, ginavoid siya. For example, sa amon, because again, as what I've mentioned, diba, I, belo- I have a non-government organization before ko yung nagsulod sa politika. It is environmental organization. No? Sa so, pag-assign naman sa mga committee sa sanggunian bayan, we agreed not we agreed nga hindi ko pagkwaon si environment because I have an organization sa environment. Tiba si, magamit ko ang committee ko for the benefit of, of the organization. No? So, para ma-avoid si conflict of interest while ga perform ka, giniwasan na siya ng mga daan ang mga muna nga instances. So, basta may mga muna nga mga uh, may mga interests ka nga private Na supposedly, ang, ang, uh, the responsibility is public, there is already conflict of interest. Mga muna ang mga level. So, it's very difficult, man, to understand and to, to actually nga ma-realize mga sakto, kaya ginobra mo, nga, maba, nga batunon mo sa kagalingon mo. Pero, it will take time. It will take time, man. At do mas medyo klaro, man. Kung, kung, ano, kung gusto mo, gusto sila mo, depende sa position. kon kon barangay i report gina ang gahando sa administrative cases sa barangay isang sanggunian no kun ang sanggunian naman ti masaka naman na siya sa ano na ombudsman na. okay we have a question yes hello hello good afternoon sir i'm Perch. so following up with your Regarding sa ginhambal mo, sir, nga, you have a non-NGO that is environment, environment, uh, that is about environment, and since you are not assigned to that specific committee, let's say uh, your, your organization wants to tap that 
environmental organization would still be, though with given conflict of interest, would Again, it depends if my private nga intention si organization, no? Tapos kintap ka ni government, for example, no, to kidraya, kintap ka ni government for your expertise, ikaw ang gahatag, gashare sa imo expertise na sa government, eh. So, I don't think there is conflict of interest if ikaw na ang gashare. Ang conflict of interest, ya, ang mabenefit si organization or your private na nga, nga intentions your profit your gain is private rather than ang private mo nga skill is share mo sa public If there is conflict of interest, I don't think that the government benefits from it more than the private individual or the private entity. Because again, if there is conflict of interest, the interest of the private entity is greater than that of the government. Last na lang. Uh, ano? Pwede asita di buwas. Sharot. <laughs> ah, sige. Okay laman. Is there any more questions, guys? Last na lang? Sige. Okay. So, good afternoon po, sir. My question is, what if that's the only available po na business na pwede mong makuhaan? Would that still count? Kanyari, you need um, like fish, but the only available na pangistaan is, uh, is your business. Kanyari, uh, would that still consider be considered as conflict of interest? Again, if greater ang benefit ni public than that the private, like for example, if there are no other sources of already and kailangan gitsa ni government, meaning benefit siya ni government, right? So, feel it ko, hindi na siya mag... Kung siya lang, hindi ang gusto mo. Depende sa fish, mag... <laughs> hindi, basta mo lang kita. Basta, mas dako ang benefit. For example, uh, amo lang kita nga fish, ang makasulba sa problema sa kapigaduhon sa Pilipinas. Siya lang kita nga provide. ba diba? Kag uh, local official siya. So, I don't think that the benefit of that uh, private entity is greater than the public already. No? Because it will solve poverty, yun eh. So, amo na. Well, as long as the, there is only conflict of interest and we should avoid conflict of interest if ang benefit ni private entity would be greater than that. No? It would impose damage kag less ng benefit sa government or sa public sector. Okay, any follow-up questions or is it clear? Okay na. Sige. <laughs> Let's give everyone a round of applause. Okay, thank you, sir. Once again, may I request Sir James, Ma'am Chi, Nong Raf, and Miss Francesca to come up on stage to present the tokens and certificate to our second speaker. Okay. Uh, may I also request our advi club advisor, Miss Pia Ayopela? Mrs. Our organization <laughs> advisor. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Is my Okay, one, two, three, smile.
Okay, let's give them a round of applause one more time. As we near the end of our journey together, let's take a moment of, to reflect on the knowledge gained and connections made throughout the seminar series. But before we bid adieu, it's time to recognize the dedication and participation of all those who made this event possible. Let's proceed with the awarding of certificates. May I request the Global Shapers representatives to please come up on stage? And may I request Manong Raf, Mrs. Pia Ayubela, <laughs> and Ms. Francesca Jewel Fulhanan to present the certificate. Certificate of Appreciation is given to Global Shapers Iloilo Hub for their valued partnership in Shaping Central, a seminar series of pioneering perspectives given this 26th day of March in the year of our Lord 2024 at Central Philippine University. Okay, ready? Smile. One more time, Waki. <laughs> okay. Let's give them a round of applause, everybody. Although the representative for American Central is not here, let's... Uh, American Corner, I'm sorry. American Corner, although they are, their, particip their representatives are not here, let's still give our appreciation by giving them a round of applause. Thank you very much to all our partners, Global Shapers Iloilo and American Corner. Thank you. So before we close or uh, formally close the program, may I request everyone to please stand for a photo op? The end now. Okay, everyone, please gather in front. There is a front. Ah. Compress lang. Compress na lang, guys, sa center, please. Compress, get compress. Ngato na ba 